Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Good morning, good morning, good morning. Now I'm blaming Joe Carter. I've suddenly gone, just as we come on air now, I've got a little bit sniffing and I've got a bit of a sore throat. So I'm gonna, if I'm off ill, it'll be Joe Carter's fault. Okay, but I'm running tomorrow anyway, so don't worry if I'm not here tomorrow morning, don't worry. Uh, shall we do today's early bird? First, early bird number one, actually. Early bird number one. Uh, now this is perfect for one of the projects later on. Uh, and also, if you do a Delphine project or anything like that, £5.98, you get two packets of Bonderweb. Now, each one is 120 centimetres by 17 and a half centimetres. Uh, fantastic for doing a little project with if you're just starting off. I've got the big roll coming up later, but this is fantastic if you're just starting off on your applique Bonderwebbing route. Right, where are we going? 50p off each packet. Pound off. Pound off. There you go. £4.98. Lovely way to start the day. Uh, right, Anne says good morning, lovely. Claire says good morning, John Knoll. Angela says morning, looking forward to today's show. Pat says good morning. It's nice, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. £4.98. I'm sure I had something to say at the beginning of today's show. Something profound. I thought about it as I drove in. Not profound, maybe, but if there's a special day or something. Anyway, anyway, it's a Tuesday. Six years ago today, right at this moment in time, I was standing in a different studio six years ago today, and then I did the opening of the show, and then I raced off to London. Do you remember? £4.98. You were there, Hannah. Not in London, obviously. The other Jan said, Oh, no, she hasn't, the other Jan hasn't said anything yet. She just logged in. £4.98. Keep going through, keep going through. As I say, first one of my two early birds today. Got some lovely deals for you today, some lovely projects, gorgeous lawn. Oh, now, if you're going to do some, get this, because the lawn, I've got lawn in this first time, for like uh, Royal Reggie Plique and things like that. Oh no, £4.98. Take care of the pennies and the pounds will take care of themselves, as they used to say. Wish it was true. £4.98, my new dash waters. The dash waters seem to come round very quickly, the dash water orders. Oh, and also, this is what I was going to tell you. When you, it wasn't profound, it's just a bit of worldly advice from an old man. When you wake up first thing in the morning, don't pick up your phone to check your emails and things like that first thing. So this morning, I woke up, uh, Luther was fast asleep. He wouldn't have taken up most of the bed most of the night. So I was on the edge of the bed like this. My alarm went off, picked my phone up, looked at my emails. So I was like, oh, there was an email from my bank, right, saying the... Uh, Direct debit has been set up for you for Goldsmith something. And I was like, what? What? I have, what? What? So then I, I thought, I can't do it now. I, can't. I ran in the other room. I got up, put the computer on, uh, went and had my shower, fed the cats, packed my bag. Well, Goldsmith, I have to ring the bank, I have to ring the bank. Oh, I have to ring the bank, I have to ring the bank. Didn't say Goldsmith at all. 
it said Almond Street Hospital because I've just set up a, a, a direct debit for it, right? And, I, and it was where I got Goldsmiths from, I have no idea. But I spent half an hour going, oh, God, I hate it when you get frauded and all, all oh, it's just not safe. It's, good. it's not like when we had checkbooks and all that sort of, and it was, it was me not reading it properly. So anyway, £4.98. So don't read your emails the minute you wake up, and unless you've got your gloves on. Andrea says, uh, good morning. That's nice. £4.98. I'm going to move on. <laughs> was that a nicer in now? No, no. I'll keep those around because I might do those later. Right, this is incredibly popular. This is already cut into your two pieces. Now, you are getting two pieces of this, right? It's like an interfacing, but as can you see, it's got um, squares drawn on it, right? So what you can do is you can either do one inch squares, two inch squares, three inch squares, whatever you want to do. You put your fabric on here, you iron it all on, and then you literally, well, from the other side, you do a stitch line, so it looks like, so you've done, uh, basically, you've done very, very simplistic uh, patchwork, but you haven't had to match the corners because the, the, um, the, the interfacing's done it for you. So you get two meters, iron on interfacing, in white, with grid, two you get two pieces, one meter in size each. I know, should be 17 pounds and 98 pence. Two pounds off, two pounds off. Uh, the other gentleman this morning, John Norton, nice surprise. I hadn't realised you're on again today. Yeah, I'm sorry. Not in tomorrow, though. So this week's a bit weird. So I do Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Is that right? Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, I'm doing this week. And then Saturday after the show on Saturday, I've got to race off to London, go to a big show busy party on Saturday night. <gasps> Can't wait. Can't wait. It's in a gallery in uh, Farringdon. Roxana, go on, John. I like the look of the seven berry fabrics. Yes, they're gorgeous. Coming up in a minute. Coming up in a minute, my new lawn fabrics. Anyway, 15 98 this one. £15.98. I know. Keep going through, keep going through. Today's early bird. Remember that price stays because it's a crash. It stays there till midnight. So if you are watching later, you can still take advantage of it if there is some stock left. 15 98 You get two one-metre pieces. Oh, that's that bit. It's so funny, that beeping noise this time every morning. Do they have the bins emptied at this time every morning around here? Oh, it's next door. Oh, is it a factory next door? No, don't, we don't know what it is. They make a lot of noise, though. <laughs> They're getting started in the morning. Oh, listen. It would drive me mad if I went to work and the first thing I heard was that beeping noise. Two pieces you get, £15.98. Each piece is a metre long. Remember when she bought this, that's your P&P &P paid for for the day. Even if you come in and buy an overlocker later, even if you come and buy a gadget. Message on my bottom. Good morning, John, and all in the studio. Got you on in the corner of my screen whilst I'm at work. Oh, Teddy. Teddy, I didn't know you worked. Teddy works. Yeah, didn't know he'd had a job. Or when you say work, you're a lollipop lady. Why do I think you're a lollipop lady? Lollipop man, sorry, lollipop man. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, keep going through, keep going through. Margaret says, good morning, John team. June says, morning, gorgeous. Today's menu. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay, we're going to do that then, are we? Right. No, 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 because could do, we could do menu then, because I'm going to move over there during the menu. See, that's it. Menu, lawn fabrics at eight o'clock. Brand new, gorgeous lawn fabrics at eight o'clock fantastic aren't they then at nine o'clock we've got the thread spool cushion with Cara Ackerman it's a design by uh Amber Makes isn't it Amber Makes lovely we've got it in the three, four different oh no more than four we've got it in a few Q colorways that one haven't we Susie Duncan's watching uh then at 10 o'clock we do sewing room tools uh lovely oh that's what oh now 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 we've been a bit naughty we've been a really really naughty in that hour because um, we've taken some of the gadgets from Manager Special because uh, because because Ben did it the other day. We thought, you know what, we're going to do it today. So we're going to take some of the pieces to Manager's special prices. I know we're not supposed to do it, but we are. Uh, right, and then at eleven o'clock, we're doing the hanging plant pot. Oh, there you go. There's more than that on the set now, and we are also we're not making that. We're making this drawstring bag. Oh, oh. 
No, I haven't got a picture of that one. Never mind, never mind. We're doing the drawstring bag by Fiona Hesford, right? Then at 12 o'clock, we're doing overlockers and tools. But have a look on the other table at an overlocker because well, it looks all sad and lonely there, doesn't it, right? That is the most affordable overlocker that we do do, right? And look, it's 309, oh, it's 309 pounds, right? 300 pounds, you can get a free pair of scissors. Look at the split pay. Five-way split pay. Hannah did that because she found the button. We're not supposed to do that. So you get a pair of scissors, Janome rated dressmaker scissors for free anyway, and you're getting five-way split pay on our most affordable overlocker that we do do. Oh, no, brilliant, isn't it? Oh, hang on, that's on my bottom. Come on, John, watching the exercise bike. What? Before the commute across the hallway, have a super day from Carolyn. Oh, Carolyn, you're very good doing exercise bike in the morning. Susie Duncan says she loves the quilter's grid. Great way to use stash and fabric scraps. Uh, Kat says, morning, John, and all the lovely sewing crew. You're looking fresh this morning. I don't feel it. Oof. Sue says, morning, John. Team Patricia says, morning. Love you from Blackpool. Love you too, Patricia. Right, three ways you can get in touch. First way is by email, studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com. Second way is by Facebook Live, which ones I've been shouting out. And then the third way is going to the website, www.sewingstreet.com. You go to the front page, you click on watch the show live. There'll be a screen there with me in a minute. And then on the right hand side, there's a box. You can write your message in there and they're the ones that come on my bottom later. Scroll down the page, you'll see two columns. You'll see today's show deals, which are the things that have been on already. And you'll see coming up on today's show, that is pre-ordered. Then we've got all these brand new, gorgeous, gorgeous lawns from Seven Berries. Beautiful, beautiful lawns. That's going to be a busy, popular hour, that one. A few books in there thrown in to go with. Meg oh, and the Mega Bundle. The Mega Bundle. And that's not the price you'll pay. That is not the price you will pay for that Mega Bundle. Then we've got uh, Cara's first hour there. There's the, uh, the spool cushion. Uh, also, now... The thing about that is in the instructions, you not only get the instructions for the cushion, you also get instructions for a small quilt and you get instructions for a big quilt. I know, I know. So we've got kits to make the cushion and kits to make the quilt in there. Then uh, you're onto me then with my sewing room tools. That is not a toothbrush. Uh, that's lovely. Then we've got the HEPA filter. We've got the, oh, the lovely dome where I do my Jerry Halliwell impression. Oh, I meant to bring my Jerry Halliwell wig today. So I forgot all about that. Cube, everything like that. Now, those, those prices crash on those because they were manager specials. Light boxes. Uh, I don't know what the, what's in here. Let's have a look. What else is there? Thread packs, bells, books, all sorts of goodies in that hour. Then we get to, there you go. More quilt as you go there. There's the bag that Cara's going to be. It's the Fiona Hesford Sew Girl. A uh, bag that Fiona's going to be demoing. Not Fiona. Cara's going to be demoing uh, in her out. There's the plant pot holders. We're not demoing those, but we have got kits for them and we will be talking you through them. Uh, lovely. And then, of course, in the last hour. Oh, no, there's all your rick-rack and your braid and everything for your decorating. Last hour, last hour. Oh, there you go. Oh, they've got the hand back in. We got the hand back in. We didn't have to hand the other day when uh, Sandy Millie Chip was here, did we? Beautiful. Oh, some so girl patterns as well there. Clapper. Oh, now, now I need to tell you, right? My favourite air threading overlocker. At this moment in time, we only have one in stock. One in stock. That's it. That's it. That's it. And then there you go, there's some lovely overlocking threads and Hannah's favourite. We've got the pliers and the clips. Snaps. Back in stock. They always sell out. They always sell out really quickly. Hannah gets them. As soon as, Hannah must have them on early, early doors warning. Because as soon as they come back in, Hannah has them in her show. Right, before I start the lawn, before I start the lawn, I know I'm going off kilter here, but I didn't tell you, we're talking about only having one of the overlocker. Remember I had this at the weekend, right? I've only got one left. They'd all sold out, right? We had more people in baskets. One person didn't check out, right? One person did not check out on this. So we just thought, because it's got lawn in it, it's got Liberty lawn in it, right? We just thought we'd do it for you today. Look at this. Manager special price, 69 99 So if you missed out on it at the weekend, it's the only one. I've only got one. I've only got one, but we just thought we'd show it to you. 
And we'll get told off for doing that price again. But do you know what? If the other people got it the weekend, why can't you have it now? That's what I say. Uh, right. Oh, hang on. Lots of people. David says, morning, John. Nice to have you back on. Thank you very much indeed. Laurie says, good morning, John team. June says, wasn't it lovely to see Helen McCook yesterday? Yes. Helen McCook was on Hobby Maker yesterday. I mean, went on to have to give her a kiss and a hug and everything. And then text her last night going, when are you coming on our show? Right, I'll put that away. Yes. So, uh, on the web, this will look like your normal fabric, right? So, lawn is a much, much finer. It's what Liberty, Lib uh, I mean, Liberty do quilting weight, which we sell, right? But lawn is a much, much finer fabric. And I'll tell you what I meant to do. I meant to look up the GSM before I came on and I forgot to do that, right? We'll have a look for you. We'll have a look at the GSM and we'll also see if we can find the thread count of this because at lawn, on the whole, it's fantastic because when you cut it, it doesn't fray because it has such a high thread count. But it's that lovely, you can make blouses out of it. You can make, um, kind of use it for raw edge applique. You can, it's basically a much lighter weight fabric than a quilting fabric, but it's just a strong, Still is durable. I made the whole of Seven Brides Seven Brothers when we did the Westland show. All the dresses were made out of the Liberty Lord. Now, if you use it for quilting, the applique, it's absolutely fine. If you use it for quilting, please be careful what you mix it with, because what you don't want to do is have some squares made out of just lawn and some made out of your quilting weight, because the weight is slightly different. So, oh yeah, your applique, I said that. You can applique on, yeah. You'd use it for all sorts of applique and decoration and things like that. But you can make blocks out of it. It's not a problem, but just be careful if you do mix it with other fabrics. I would, um, um, be definitely best press it before you start cutting it to make your quilt blocks and everything like that. I mean, it's beautiful, beautiful fabric. And when you see it, when I waft it, you'll see how it moves in the air and everything like that. So now this one here, you get seven and a half meters. So there's 15 different fabrics here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Uh, um, 15, 16, 17, 18. Uh, right, okay, there's a, hang on. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen fabrics, which is nine meters of fabric. Right, hang on, one, two, three, four, five. There's eighteen in the picture as well. So it might just be that the, the graphics are wrong. Yeah, yeah, we'll sort it out, we'll sort it out, we'll sort it out, right? So you're getting nine meters of fabric there if you're 116, 82. Nine meters, 18 different fabrics. So on split pay, look, 58.41. Two split payments of 58 pounds and 41 pence. Now they're gorgeous, aren't they? Hmm? Yeah, you do get 18. So the price is right, is it? Okay, so the price is right, the price is right. Uh, and so it's only, uh, Hannah's just, uh, whoever typed up the thing, Oh, okay, so I, I didn't know if it was just I want to blame somebody. Else. Right, so the seven and a half in brackets, that should say nine. Right, that should say nine. You're, own, you're paying for nine. You're paying for nine. Yeah, you're paying for nine. So you're paying 116.82 for nine there. Nine metres, 18 half metres, already cut. But you know what? Do you know what? We're going to take a metre off that price tag. We shouldn't, we didn't, don't need to. Don't need to, but we're going to. Brad, there you go, 103.84, 103 pounds and 84 pence. Look at the split pay, 51.92 twice. Now it's not Liberty, but it could be, couldn't it? The prints are just gorgeous. Now we've got all of them by the half meter. So don't be thinking, oh, I didn't want that. I want a whole, you know, three meters to make a blouse or something like that. Then obviously, you know the red, the red shirt that I've got that um, uh, uh, Rebecca made for me? Um, that's made of, of lawn. That's made out of lawn. It's beautiful fabric, 103.84. I'll, I'll take you through all the different fabrics next. We're going to do them by the half meter, but I just wanted to give you the opportunity to have a taster of all of them. These are your blues and your blacks. In fact, there's a couple more blues in there, aren't there? Beautiful. They're, oh, they're just stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Let me just waft one for you so you can see. It'll be 44 inches wide. At GSM about 80, did you say? Yeah. No, 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 no. The GSM's 80. That's right for a lawn. That's right for a lawn. Beautiful, isn't it? 40. Now, is that 44 inches wide? Let me just double check for you. Want to have it right. Yeah, well, 42 inches wide. 42 inches wide. 
It's lovely, isn't it? Now let me just waft it for you and you can see how it has a gorgeous movement to it, look. Oh, only eight, eight mega bundles left, that's it now. Only eight mega bundles left. It's lovely, isn't it? Yes, it's, it's not, you get nine meters, you get nine meters. Nine meters, but you're only paying for eight. You're only paying for eight. Please ignore the seven and a half in the graphics. Hang on, morning, John and team. There are 18 fabrics, that doesn't create. Yeah, 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 because you get half a meter of each. You get half a meter of... Hang on, Penelope, yeah, if you get 18 fabrics, that it does equate to nine meters because 18 fabrics half of 18 is nine isn't it ignore that seven and a half there you do get nine meters of fabric yeah but there are definitely 18 you definitely pay 103.84 or if you want to take it on split pay it's definitely 51.92 twice beautiful beautiful lightweight lawn Gorgeous, aren't the colours lovely? You're going to absolutely adore these when we go through these in a minute. Beautiful ditzy prints. Lovely colours. Uh, morning, all. Could I make a quilt centre using lawn and edge with dupin type silk? Oh, so that would be gorgeous. Yes, you could. Yes, you could. Wow, that would be lovely. Uh, it, it's lovely because when, when um, uh, uh, lawn does have a feel, not a feel of silk, but it has the waftability of silk. And as you, the more you wash it, the more soft it gets. Beautiful. Oh, I love Dupion silk. That's what I used to make all my wedding dresses out of. Not my wedding dresses, wedding dresses that I made. Beautiful. 103.84. Make sure you go through. Make sure you go through. Stunning, stunning, stunning. 18 fabrics, that's nine meters of fabric. Six remaining, six left now, six bundles left. You can get it by the half meter. Seven berry petite garden lawn collection. Oh, that's a nice name, isn't it? Petite garden lawn. Bijou. Okay, now once you've all checked out, be careful, be careful, be careful. I'll come back to it, but it's now very, very, very limited. Very limited. Right, now we're going to enjoy all of them by the half metre, right? So, shall I follow you or should you follow me? Yes. Yeah, no, no, that's fine because on the, on, looking at those pictures, I couldn't tell you which is which. LD74, this one is. It's got a black background. Beautiful pinks and purples. Six pound forty-nine now. Oh, six forty-nine. Wow. Six forty-nine. That's good. Right. So we've got this is Petite Garden Lawn Collection Meadow in Black. This one. Oh, now this is where you can buy it off the bolt. You don't have to, like in the bundle, you have to have half a meter to reach them. Now, you can have however much you want. Now, some are more limited than others because we already know that some have gone into a project later on. Oh, I say, right, this is, this is what happened, right? The samples, these were on the desk upstairs. Delphine came in to do a show, went up to talk about her next project. She went, I want that. So in, I don't know if it's her next project or the next one after that, but she's got some of these allocated into her into her, one of her new projects. It... Okay, how much have I got of it then? Right, so I've only got eight and a half meters of this left, right? Yeah, eight and a half meters of this one left, but 10 people got it in their basket. Now, we don't know how much people have got in their basket until you've, until you've confirmed. So if you've got this in your basket, I'm not saying you're going to miss out, but I just let you know. More people, if, if everybody that, that, that now has got their name in the... Yeah, if you want half a meter, it's all gone, right? If somebody wants a meter or two meters or three meters, then not two, you're going to miss out. That, that's on the first one. So on the first one, let's go on to the next one. Okay. Okay, right, let's do it. Yeah, we think that one's going to sell out. 
Yeah, I'll keep them all here because we'll recap the bundle, won't we? This is beautiful. This is bl navy with little yellow and blue flowers. XF26. This is gorgeous, this one. Oh, apparently Delphine didn't even get to see this one. Oh, oh look at the print on there. £6.49. This one is called Ditsy Navy. Ditsy Navy, this one's called. Julie Vaughan says good morning. Lou says good morning. Uh, can I have a chilled day with you. Lovely watching Sewing Street and a cuppa. Bliss. Gemma says good morning. £6.49. Oh dear. Got three metres for a new shirt, says Carolyn. Which one did you get, Carolyn? Which one did you buy? Because you could have gone into pre-order, couldn't you, and had to look at those. That wasn't necessarily the first one. Would love to know which one you're going to get, which one you've got. This is gorgeous. So it's a navy blue background, right? And then you've got ye yellow, greens, blues. It's like, it's like little forget-me-nots with little daisies, little Michaelmas daisies. Go can we come in closer? Is that possible? Oh, we are coming in. We are coming. We just have to wait. The computer, it's the, the camera's not happy. Oh, that, the GoPro arrived yesterday. £6.49. Crazy Lorraine says, good morning. Crazy Lorraine, wasn't La Vivian, Vivian good in um, the dance. I wasn't going to watch Dancing on Ices and I wasn't going to watch Love Island and I'm completely hooked now. I'm so angry with myself. And I'm d I was there hovering over series link delete. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Derek, good morning. Hannah, there's no Ben, there's no Ben today. Because Hannah and Ben do the same job. So if one's in, the other one's not in. So Derek, it's Hannah, Bruce, Kat and John. Is this fabric firm enough for a man's formal shirt? I've picked five already. Right. It's not as heavy as this, right? It's not as heavy as our normal quilt weight. It makes beautiful shirts because it's so... I've got a Liberty... Yeah, I've got, I should have brought it in. I've got a Liberty shirt, right? Which is made of lawn, right? Makes the most... But So I, I've worn it on the show, right? It doesn't, it doesn't look like a blouse. It looks like a shirt. But it's not as sturdy as this. It's as, it's as hard wearing. In fact, sometimes even hard wear, more hard wearing because it's got a, a higher thread count than this kind of fabric. But yes, you can make a shirt out of it, definitely. Oh, Caroline, Caroline got the previous one. Caroline got the one before this. 6.49, half metre. Oh, now we have to work out which ones Derek's going to make shirts out of. Next one. I'm doing all the dark backgrounds first, as you can see. Right, that, no, that's fine. We're going to come read. This is much bigger, this one. RO62. Look. Oh, look at that one. 42 inches wide, machine washable, quilting, uh, not quilting weight, lawn weight, lawn weight, lawn weight. Oh, Julie got the black ditzy fabric. There you go, £6.49. Oh no, this one's, this one's navy as well, made in Japan. That's beautiful, isn't it? Now, I wouldn't use lawn for things like uh, storage pots or uh, things like that for around the house. It's too fine for that. But I would use, uh, you can't, you, I'd use it for applique all the time because you do raw edge applique with it. Oh no, kimono, this knee, right, this Nina Lee kimono, which I've got, got coming up later. Oh, it's a Mayfair dress. This would be brilliant. This would be brilliant, right? Or, or a kimono. Kimono patterns would be gorgeous in this. Yeah, we haven't got kimono pattern in stock at the moment, but that Nina Lee dress. That, what? Well, Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, hang on a second. No, I take that back. I take that back. I take that back. This one is for stretch fabric. Don't make that dress out of it. Don't make that dress out of it. That's for stretch fabric only. I thought it was a kimono. Um, so, yes, yeah, so, so a kimono or a light, light summer dress would be brilliant. £6.49. People buying lots of multiples. Righty-ho, moving on. Now, that was all the dark backgrounds. I'm now going on to the... Pa oh, this one's beautiful. This one's got a feeling of William Morris about it. Hang on, let me open it up for you. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, 7T. 
Look. Here's that. Now, I've also got this one in pink coming up next. I've also got it. In fact, let me show it to you. Let me show it to you. Look, there's the pink version. That's the pink version. I'm doing the blue version. I'll be doing the pink one straight after. Uh, Vivian was brilliant. Lovely person. Yeah, she's hooked on Love Island. Uh, oh, Tom's a bit of a player, isn't he? Player! £6.49. 100% cotton. Gorgeous, gorgeous. <gasps> They're just lovely at the flat. So, it's so lovely and um, diaphanous. So gorgeous, isn't it? Okay, be careful. It's only, it's only day one, right? First time we've seen it and this is already limited. Beautiful. If there's any that you want to see together or any that you want to see again that you might have missed or something, just let me know and I can waft them for you. Right, I'm going to do the pink version of that one next. Hannah's favourite. Oh, that's 89, that one. Oh, OK. Delphine's picked this one for one of her projects. Wonder why. Yeah. Large... Oh, that, now they've called that wearer colour. I think it's meant to say watercolour, that one. I think someone might have typed these up in a hurry, mightn't they? The wear a colour, war a colour, war a colour. Anyway, it's not, it's beautiful, isn't it? Stunning, stunning, stunning. Make sure you check out. I don't want anyone missing out. God, do you know what? It would make the most exquisite. You know, Sunday morning kimono. Beautiful, beautiful. Or pyjamas. Oh, make lovely pyjamas. 100% cotton. 100% cotton, remember. Fine cotton. Yeah. £6.49. Hannah said, not, I, I, Hannah's basic, I'd say, what a fabulous fabric to make kimono as well, because she sweats and she doesn't want to mix. She doesn't want a polyester one, she wants a cotton one. Beautiful. They'll be gone soon. £6.49, kimono. Do you know what? Lounging pants. Little, uh, not vest top, a little camisole. Oh, imagine camisoles in this. Um, it is, it, well, I'm saying lounge pants. Don't, don't go out to the supermarket in them because you would be able to see your pants straight if you've got pants on. Beautiful. Right, okay, back to the blue ones. So this one is number... Oh, I might have to come back to this one. It hasn't got a number on it. Oh, no, 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 it's 75. Elk 75. Yeah, no, no, I couldn't, I couldn't, it was so well camouflaged. Do owl and sewing cat do a kimono pattern? Oh, I don't know, Claire. I bet, I imagine they would do. I imagine they would do. We haven't got any on our, on our, on our um, website at the moment, I'm afraid. £6.49. Gorgeous, gorgeous print. So delicate. Oh, sorry. There you go. I don't understand that analogy. It's like a 99 from an ice cream van, right? Oh, here you go, Teddy. Hannah is right. Uh, spelling mistake, Teddy there. 100% natural fibres is the way to go. Teddy, affirmed fibre content snob. Yeah, but he didn't tell us what job he did, did he? Yes, Owl and Sewing Cat do have a kimono pattern. There you go. I don't know if we have it. I'm not sure if we have it. Beautiful. Now I've got on, yeah, multiple, oh, excuse me, I've got the hiccups, I think. Multiple purchases going on. 
This one's LZ31. Half of this. Half the stock of what we've got today has gone on pre-order of this one. What they called called, oh, I really have got the hiccups. Wild Blue, this one's called. You can't? No, don't, you scare me every day, that's not gonna help. <laughs> oh. Carol says, good morning. I might actually just, Kat, you couldn't just pass me my bottle of water, could you, sorry? I can't drink through it backwards because it will go everywhere. Thank you so much. Standing on one leg. I, I said, what you meant to do is except you're supposed to concentrate on something else, aren't you? So, Okay, hold your breath, stand on one leg and pretend you're a tree is what Hannah used to tell their little kids that she used to look after. DC39, this is like a little ditzy print, this one. Oh, actually, this is the same as the navy blue one we had in number two slot, but in the white with just blues on it. Oh, did I give you the number, sorry? Uh, DK39, yeah, very limited this one. Gorgeous. Oh, hang on. I'm a librarian cataloger, but only because Book Wizard isn't an official job title. Oh, I say. Very nice. Cataloger, cataloger. Hannah saying she'd be rubbish at that job. Hannah saying that, not me. Is there a library near you then, Teddy? They're all cut. The one, the one in Chester shut down. I'm not sure if there's one. Is there one in Stratford upon Yeah, there's one in Stratford upon Avon on the main near Shakespeare's house, isn't there? <coughs> you can get married there as well. Yeah, because that's where. What's name got married? Lucy, lovely Lucy. Yeah. Is she back yet? And when? Oh, another few months ago. Feels like forever she went. Hold your breath and swallow six times. <gasps> what? Wait a minute. <gasps> oh, I can't swallow once. Well, if you hold your breath, how are you meant to swallow? Try swallowing with your whole breath. Oh, okay. No, that's fine. <laughs> I'm moving on. More people in baskets with that for that than we've got stock of. And that's if you'll take half a metre. Right, this one's like a vintage one, this one. Let me find the number for you. EYO7. EYEYO. It's, it's like a creamy vintage background, that one, isn't it? They've called it Meadow Blue, that one. Oh, haven't we done Meadow already? Oh, oh, very nice. Okay, you missed out a letter, I think, there. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, okay. Hendon. It's where the big police training ground is. And, oh, hello, Roy. What's in the bag? Should we play What's in the Bag with Roy? Yeah, it's called Best Parcel. It's what? Uh, it's what? Oh, it's a personal purchase, that one. I've told Roy he's not supposed to bring his knitting in here. £6.49, don't look at me, look at the fabric. What's in the bag, Roy? That's a new game, isn't it? We can't open that one because that's a personal purchase. Roy's deliveries. Moving on. Oh, now one more bluey one, then we're into the pinks and reds. This is nice. This reminds me of my nan for some reason, this one. Right, let me have a look for the number for you. It does, HY49. Look at this. <clears throat> Pasture in summer, this one's called. So you've got cornflowers, you've got red flowers. I want to say something like, ragwort or something like that is that right is that the right word i'm looking for oh claire says hello roy's gone claire he doesn't he's like 
what's it? Speedy Gonzalez, that Roy. He must he actually must work a long day because he's always in here first thing in the morning. When I left yesterday, he was just doing another delivery from the warehouse yesterday afternoon. <coughs> oh, is it Ragwort Yellow? I was thinking about the red ones. Oh, Ragwort Yellow, apparently. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I've been wrong several times in my life. Taken that wrong turning in life. No. No decision is the wrong decision. Well, that's good, isn't it? Ragwood attracting caterpillars into your garden. Well, it's like, uh, what's it? nasturtiums? The caterpillars love nasturtiums, don't they? 6.49. Uh, I went to look in my garden yesterday. I've got one snowdrop. One snowdrop I've got in my garden. I've got clumps of them. Oh, I thought you made it a bit late to plant them now. Yeah. No, no, all my daffodils and everything are all about that high out the ground, my tulips. But there's no, there's no daffodils yet, just the, the green bits. But then there's this little clump of snow drops, right, that Rosemary gave me, and there's one come out in flower. And it's tiny. It's like a miniature, miniature one. Oh, yeah, the squirrels like that. The squirrels like that. Right, let's get on to some pinks now then. Oh, this is pretty. So this one is XA79. Again, the background's like a creamy vintage background. Look, what have they called this one? Pasture in lavender. Oh, very nice. Come on, Bruce, come in closer. Don't be frightened. There you go. £6.49. Oh, she frightened Charlie the other day. I don't know. We don't, we don't know. Yeah, he couldn't say. Han, Han, Bruce just said, Hannah's staring at me, waiting for it to go in closer. She gives off this image of being happy-go-lucky, carefree, doesn't she? She's a tyrant, really, a tyrant. Beautiful. That'll have gone. That will have gone when everyone's checked out. Uh, right, oh, look, these colours are beautiful. A W O five. this one. Oh, hang on. Oh, you see, you're, you're all ahead of me now. You're all ahead of me. I've only got half of each of this one left today. Some, you might see some of this in another project later on. Not today. Ragwort is extremely poisonous, John. <laughs> it attacks your liver. Oh, crikey, Sue. Cousin Susan says, good morning. Lorraine says, my snowdrop's the same. Right, next one. Now we're going into the brighter pinks now. This is lovely in summary, this one, isn't it? Uh, this one's NH23. <laughs> oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Gorgeous. What's this one called? Hang on. Uh, Blooms in pink. Message on my bottom. Hi, John. My Jupion silk is blush pink. So I've purchased several pieces of pinks and lavenders. Which are the smaller blues to use? Oh, Sue. I, 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 uh, ooh, hang on. I have several pieces of pink and lavender. Which are the smaller blues to use? I think if you've got pinks and lavenders and blush pink i might stick with not too many colors in it oh this one would be nice i might have sold out now though i'm afraid i'll i'll, I'll finish this pink one and then i'll show you the i'll show you the one i think you should use that's beautiful right now i don't know if there's any left i don't know if there's any left but this one number ey07 That's the one I'd use if you've got pinks and everything. Oh, there's a little bit left of this one. That's the one I'd use because you've got that little bit of blush in there. You've got the blues in there and then it's got the lovely creamy background. That would be my opinion without seeing which ones you've chosen. You know what I mean? I can't, don't be ringing me up going, oh, it's the wrong colour, John. Anyway, because there's blush in the flowers of there, you see. Lovely. Now. Uh, now, this one's very different. UG46. It's like a raspberry background, this one. 
Oh, look, you, you see, you're all ahead of me on this one. This one's called Pasture in Rose. Oh, there's me saying raspberry. Yeah, rose is the perfect description for it. Isn't it lovely? Just look at all the different, you've got the rose background, then you've got a darker pink flower, lemon, a little lemon flower, you've got lovely sage greens in there, there's a little spot of purple in there as well. They're good quality, they come from Tevenberry in Japan. Very, very good quality fabrics. Lovely. Got about four left now. Now the four I've got left are more pinky red. VZ85, this one, he says. Yeah, V Z, yeah, yeah. Now this one's called watercolour pink. That's not the same as the one we had watercolour earlier, was it? At the end of the season, you need to lift your snowdrops in the green and separate them into smaller lumps. They should flower a lot better next year. Shelley, it's only a clump. That is the tiniest little clump. The tiniest clump. But I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll get Danny to do it. At the end of the season. When's the end of the season? He's coming on the 13th of February. Will that be the end of the season? We were watching Hobby Maker this morning. They're making lovely cards for gardeners. Because Bruce, was it Bruce said it? That... Oh, was it Cat? Cat said, oh, that's the one. Yes, that's it. She said, I'd buy that card for my gardener. And we were like, have you got a gardener? She said, no, not yet. A051, red and yellow and pink and green. No, pink. Well, there's green. There's green. Beautiful, that one, isn't it? That, oh, that one's called watercolour as well. Okay, I give up. And I'd wear this, a, a kimono and this, and red lipstick. Well, that day I picked you up in that, red, when you were wearing your red dress, your red wrap dress, in the wind, and it was billowing in the wind, and that little man was enjoying every minute of it. Right, uh, now, here we go, TZ49. No, that's nice. That's more orangey, that one, isn't it? Oh, they've called it red. Blooms in red. £6.49. Now, some of these are sold out, remember? Some of these are sold out of the stock we've got today. So please be careful. If there's anything you want to see again, I've got one more to show you. If there's anything else you want to see again, I will reintroduce the whole bundle in a second, see if there's any of those left. Beautiful. Okay, I've got one more. Uh, RW07, this one. Little ditzy print. Yeah. Hannah thinks it's one o'clock, you see. When we do the production meeting in the morning, and she always finishes by going, and then we go home. Oh, you're in tomorrow, are you? This is ditzy in red. I'm not in tomorrow, am I? It's Wednesday tomorrow, so I'm not in tomorrow. Who have you got in tomorrow then? Presenter wise, is it Vix or Stuart? Stuart tomorrow. Stuart tomorrow. Oh god, of course it's dressmaking with Rebecca Harrison tomorrow. Oh, these would be fabulous. I don't know what she's making, but these would be gorgeous for dressmaking. Six pounds and forty-nine pence for half a meter, that um ditzy red. Got a question. Morning, John. Aren't these prints gorgeous? Yes, they are. But tell me, can a larger lady get away with a dress made in ditzy print? Yes, Joe, you can. You definitely, definitely, definitely can. I always say, though, if you're more curvaceous, go for big prints, because they also look very stylish. But I wouldn't say if you're a petite lady to go for particularly big prints that way around. But yeah, of course you can, because it'll just create a really beautiful... Yeah, of course you can. Of course you can. Right. Now let me just put all these together because I'm going to show you that mega bundle again here. I'll let Bruce sit, watch as we put it together. 
Some of these are sold out now. Some of these are sold out on their own of the allocation that we have today. Some of them you might see in a Delphine project coming up in the future. Oh, no, that one goes there. The pinks and the purples and the lavenders are just exquisite, aren't they? There we go. Right, yep, there we go. There's your mega bundle. Now, how many have we got left? Okay, there are only four of these mega bundles left. That, look, you see there it says nine meters now. We've taken a meter off that price tag. So you're getting a meter for free. So you get nine meters, but you're only paying for eight. There are four left and six people got it in their basket. And we can't mix again at the moment because a lot of those are sold out. I know, not adding any undue pressure whatsoever. March would be a good time to take them out before they turn yellow. Oh, okay, not, I'll get Danny to do it next month then. Or this month. Oh no, where are we? Oh, it's January 31st, is it today? Hannah's payday. Well, it's not mine. Oof. 184, it has it, because you got paid a little bit early for Christmas, didn't you, before Christmas? Anyway, nine meters, nine meters of gorgeous cotton on, paying for eight, 103.84, half a meter of each. Some of these are sold out of today's allocation. Some of these you will see in the Delphine project coming up in the future. Check out, check out, check out, check out, check out. All very, very, very low quantities now. Three mega bundles left now, and how many in baskets? Eight people got it in their basket. Right, take the graphs out, I'll come back to that. Yep. Yeah, if you want to do a whole dress, you can use some of these for Helen Newton pattern. We've got some Helen Newton patterns coming up now, hang on. I'll just pop that one away. Yeah, so I thought the, thought the bike one first with the flowers, because the flowers from the Liberty Prince, uh, not Liberty, Lawn Prince look. The flowers from the Lawn Prince would look gorgeous on there, wouldn't they? This is the instruction. Let me just tweak the first one thing. Instructions only, $9.99, to make that lovely cushion. It, 21. 7th of July, 21, this was, was first demonstrated. And then you get all of your templates. You get all the instructions on how to make the cushions. There's all your templates there. Now, uh, what I would do is I would get quilting weight cotton, or what, what Helen's done here is linen for the background, and then use all your lawns for all of your floral applique. That's what I'd do personally. Raw edge applique, free motion embroidery. Oh yeah, you could see the green. No, that doesn't have to be lawn. So you could, you could use your quilting cottons for your green leaves and then just make your flowers out of your lawn. Oh yeah, yeah, that's fine. That, you can use all different ways. Because if you think about like um, textile art, they use like ribbon and lace and sh chiffons and lawns and qu quilting weight cottons and everything, don't they? Right, sewing room next. Again, I would do exactly the same with this one. I'd buy quilting weight fabric for the background and the border. And then I would do all of the balls of wool, the, the threads, the mannequin, everything like that. I'd do that in the lawn. Uh, 3rd of February, 21, this one. If you want to go and watch this on YouTube. Just little ideas for you to use, isn't it? Yeah, so if you've made a bigger project out of them, save all your scraps of your lawn. Because look, you only need tiny little bits for some of these, don't you? Oh, why is there a dead cat on the sewing machine? Look. Oh, it's a coat for a cat. I wonder what it's meant to be.
Bunny rabbits. Right, now on this one again, I would say use your uh, quilting weight for your backgrounds and use your lawn for your flowers, the tummy, the inside of the ears and things like that, the collars of the bunny. 9.99 bunny mini quilt. What, how brilliant for Easter. How brilliant would that be for Easter? Hmm? No, no, you can make a cushion. You can make a mini quilt. You can make a bigger quilt if you wanted to. But again, all the information that you need in there. And the little ball be the ball ball be. A little ball be. Ball be the templates. So there's your rabbit. Your hair with the ducks. Hang on, I didn't see any duck chicks. Chicks down there. Uh, carrot. Easter egg. There's your other bunny with your foldy down ear. Bow tie. Little lace collar. Flowers. Hmm? Oh no, has the, has the air thread gone? Somebody just said the air thread has gone. We're just, we're just checking now, we're just checking. Beautiful, isn't it that one? 9.99. Fantastic. Lovely project for Easter, that one. Oh, they're little. Now, these are Liberty Lawns. It's Liberty Lawns, these aren't. Oh, in fact, isn't that the one my shirt's made out of? Oh, that one looks very much like the one my shirt's made out of. The Overlocker Air Threader is sold out. Thank you, Julie, for letting me know. These aren't the ones we've seen. These are five inch squares, yet 20 different fabrics, 16 99 they, these would be fantastic for little projects like this. You don't want to cut into your big half meters. Then if you're going to do projects like this, then these little five inch squares are perfect, aren't they? And all 20 of them are different. Gorgeous, 16.99. Are you talking to me? Oh, what were we saying? Oh, okay, right. The hour's gone through already. Right, 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 right. Mega bundle. I don't know if there's any left, actually. We'll just double check for you now. Two left, two left, but way too many in the baskets. Beautiful. Well done if you've got this. They're just gorgeous, aren't they? There we go, hang on. So you get half a metre of each, you get nine metres in total. You're only paying for eight metres. Look. Oh, shh. That's having a clear out. Any what, what? Okay, lots of you have got the, not the, not the bundle, lots of you got the half metres in basket, you know, when you're buying off the bulk. Uh, we're going for a break now, so make sure you check out during the break if you want it, because a lot of them, too many people, they're oversubscribed. So if people now start checking out over the break, you're going to miss out. If you come back to it a bit later on, you're going to miss out. But remember, you can check out as many times you like. It's not like other places where if you checked out once and you want something later on, they add to your PMP. It's literally from midnight last night to midnight tonight. No matter, like, so the person who's bought the air thread overlocker, right? You've paid your 3 95 poster packaging now for the day. So anything else you buy, right, it's paid for, right? Um, even though these come from us and the, air, and the air thread overlocker will come from Elna. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, I'm going for a break. We'll see you back here in four with Cara and we're making the Amber Makes. We can just see it peeking through the thing there. We'll see you in four minutes from now. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media and pick up some top tips from us too. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, 
three times or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Cara's here. Say hello, everyone, to Cara. Hello, hello, everyone. How is everyone? Now, 
Carol just came on set. We saw Carol when she arrived this morning looking as rough as, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. <laughs> she had her haircut, looks lovely, right? She's coming now and said, oh, look at all your eye makeup. You've got gorgeous eye makeup. I'm sure. I always have eye makeup on. <laughs> Why haven't you noticed it before? And I said, well, I've never stood it. And then we realised, because you've got glasses on. Yeah, you can't, can't see. see it. Yeah, can't see it. Can't see it. You go to all it. that work and you can't <laughs> see it. Anyway, it's lovely to see you. It's lovely to be here. Good. Right, now we are doing the Amber Makes. Uh, what it is, it's the thread spool block. Now, we've got it in cushion, bundles to make cushions, and we've got bundles to make the quilt, right? In the instructions that you get in all the bundles, it has the instructions for the cushion, for the little quilt, and for the big quilt. So I've got two bundles here for the big quilt. Now, I'm just seeing if there's a picture. Oh, there's, oh, there's a picture on the back of here of the small quilt and the cushion on the chair. There you go. Beautiful. Actually, that picture is using this fabric. It's using this fabric here. It's lovely, isn't it? Lots and lots of instructions there. So in this bundle for $59.99, uh, you do get the instructions. I'll do it overhead, sorry. And then you get in here, you get your cream fabric, you get your gray fabric. Oh, hang on, I'll do that again. Cream fabric, gray fabric, and then all of these beautiful, now when Cara came in this morning, she went, oh, I love those colors. Beautiful pastel, they've all got sewing. That's cross stitching. That's your pins. You've got just, uh, more cross stitching there on your apricot. Little squares there, little pink scissors. Little cross stitching there, little spots. Aren't they lovely, those colors all together with the gray and the cream in the background. So in the total, you've got three and a half meters of fabric and 10 fat quarters, plus your instructions, plus your instructions there, 59.99. Lovely. And that will make you, right, now let's just have a look at the size of the quilt it'll make you. Cushion 16 by 16. Chat about yourselves. Right. Uh, the wall hanging is 40 by 30. 40 by 30, the wall hanging is. And the quilt is 70 by 78. So all three of those patterns come in there. So I'm presuming. Let me have a look. Ta -da -da -da. I'm presuming it's the largest one. The front and the binding for the largest one. That's what you've got in here. So if you want to, you can make several cushions. If you want to, you can make the smaller one and a cushion, but that's the bundle there for the biggest quilt, 59.99. It's lovely. If you love all those pastel tones, that's brilliant, isn't it? Gorgeous. So that's that one. Now the next one has got Stuart's fabric in it. Indigo elements. So what you get is you get three and a half meters of your two fabrics there. I said it a bit strangely then, didn't I? <laughs> three and a half meters of your blue and your white in total, in total. I think it's two and a half and one. That, yeah, meter, two and a half and one. Two and a half and one, right? Your instructions. And then Stuart's gorgeous indigo element, 10 fat quarters. If you love your blues and your whites. You can make a whole set of cushions in all different, you know, kind of, you, if you wanted to. Beautiful, look at that, right? All of that, your 10, uh, oh, oh, Kat, I've mixed those labels up, sorry. <laughs> it's all right, Kat, will be fine. So you get all of that there for 59.99. Three and a half meters of fabric, 10 fat quarters, plus the instructions. But remember, in the instructions, you get the instructions for the cushion, the wall hanging, and the quilt. Fabulous. Now, if you're thinking, yes, that's all very well, John, but I want to make a cushion. Imagine if you wanted to make this cushion. Well, you can make this cushion because this is Liberty fabric in this one. There you go. Beautiful. Yep. So they'll do that one first. So this now, the instructions, you still get the instructions for all three projects, but you only get the fabric, right? for a cushion. That's right, isn't it? That's correct. So you get three patterns, it's all in one, obviously, and enough to make one cushion. So in this one, you get your cream fabric there. That's your half meter of cream. Then you've got your fat quarter of blue, and then you've got two fat eighths of Liberty print. Put that again. Oh, she's keeping all these secrets from us today. 
1699. Sorry, but 1699. Two Liberty fat eighths, a fat quarter of the blue and half a meter of the cream, plus those instructions. See, the instructions should be 12. Now, well, okay, even if we go for 9.99, that's brilliant value, isn't it? Brilliant, brilliant value. But there's three, there's three sets of instructions in there. I'll bring it in, there you go. Oh, so, there you go, look. That will make this one. There's enough to make that whole cushion, isn't there? I'm just checking, yes, and I used the, the same fabric for the back as well, so. Oh, yes, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What, why, why? Hannah's very crash happy today. <laughs> She's just taken five pounds off the whole bundle for you. What? I know. It's Liberty. You can make this. 14.99. Instructions for three. Right, th this is silly now. Instructions for three projects. Cushion, uh, um, cushion, wall hanging and quilt. Half a meter of fabric. A fat quarter of the blue and two fat eighths of the Liberty to make that. 14.99. Brilliant. Keep going through for that. Lots of you there. I know. I don't know. I have no idea why. I, there's no management today. They don't work Tuesdays, do they? Tuesdays and Thursdays they don't work. Gorgeous. It's lovely, isn't it? So lovely. That's, you know sometimes when you put a bundle together and it's just perfect. I'd say that was a perfect bundle. Those colours together are just exquisite. And I love Liberty Prints anyway. Now, these are all these are all quilting weight. These are not your lawns. These are all quilting weights here as well. Okay, that's a fat eight. That that's a fat eight. That is enough to do it, isn't it? That's yes, it enough is. to do the cushion. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that's a fat eight, that's a fat eight, that's a fat quarter. Beautiful. Should not have taken that to 14.99. So that is all you need to make your cushion. Okay, got another Liberty one here in the purple. Is this one you're doing? Yes. This is one you're gonna yeah. see being made. So in this one, again, you get the instructions. You get a half a metre of your lilac. You get your fat quarter of your white and your two fat eighths of your Liberty there. One in the kind of lavender lilac and one in the blue and red. You're gonna, we're gonna have to do it again now. We're gonna have to do this again now. Um, you're gonna see this one being made. Actually, could, uh, Bruce, if you go to car, oh, actually, if I just nick it off your car, it'd be easy because yep. we've already got this one. Look. Look, that's what this will make. That's this one. Beautiful people know in Hannah, well, they don't know you're going to go lower, do they, really? They well, they do now. No, I didn't know. In fact, all during, while I was talking about the quilt, Hannah was saying, the cushions are 19 99 John. The cushions are 19 99 <laughs> like, Yeah, I'll just do the quilt. 19 99 Then she does that. Then she goes and does that. Yeah, they are meant to be 19.99. Indeed, they are. Right, let me just put this one here, the other Liberty one. I'll just show you this one again before we move on. Oh, how are you? Right, okay. So, in the big graphic, we've got the purple. Big pat there, that's that one. And this is that. Back to front. That one there. That's that one there. Move Stuart out of the way. Just move Stuart. There you go. So that Liberty one is the one on the right hand side. That Liberty one is one on that side. 14 99 You choose. That's what? A ridiculous price. That is enough. You can make the cushion out of all of that. A 
Okay, the, the, the cushion size, Glynis, is 16 by 16. The wall hanging is 40 by 30. And the quilt is 70 by 78. There are your three measurements. Keep going through. Lots of people on the phone line today. Lots of people on the phone line today. Right. Am I doing these three other cushions as well? Now, these three other cushions, you get more fabric in these. You do get more fabric in these. Uh, with yeah, 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 yeah. Right. So, in this one here, you get your instructions. You get your half a metre of cream. Then, this one, you get three fat quarters. They're all fat quarters in this one. 19.99. 19 pounds and 99 pence, that one. That's your price, that's your price, that's your price. You get three fat quarters, half a metre of fabric, plus your um, instructions on that one. 19.99. I used to have a shirt identical to that. I used to wear it in the mid 80s. Early 80s, actually, early 80s when I was on tour with Theatre Cluid. Right, that's the stripy Riley Blake. What next one? Country floral, that's this one here. I like this colourway. So in this one, you get your instructions. You get your half a metre of cream. And then your three fat quarters in this are like that sagey, well, not sage, is it? Is that Chartre? No, it's not Chartre, it's either that one, is it? Anyway, then you get a splodgy purple. Oh, it is sage. You see, she should always go with your gut instinct. I said sage. So I went, <laughs> no, no, doubt yourself, doubt yourself. Look at this one. This is like, um, yeah, it's, but what is, well, it's not uh, uh, shadow. Was it shadow or cloud or something like that? It's beautiful. It was in yesterday's bundle. You know, the bundle where I had bruise with it as well. And then we, look at that. I think that's beautiful, that colourway. Eh? $19.99. That's your price. That's your price. That's your price. Okay, right, hang on a minute though. That's, the graphics are wrong on that one because you get three fat quarters, not two. <laughs> you do get three fat quarters in that one, honestly. I'm gonna have to have a word. Oh, there's nobody in. Can't have words today, there's nobody in. Right, and then the last one, let's see what you get this one. You will get what I've got here. You will definitely get what I've got here. See, that one's wrong again. That one's wrong. Oh, I tell you what it is. I tell you what it is. They've called, right, so I can tell you, right? Look, sorry, Bruce, look at the thing. This is the instruction. That's your half metre fabric. This is pack one of your fat quarter because they come together. And this is is pack two of your fat quarters because that comes we're presuming we're presuming so 19 pounds and nine times doesn't matter that doesn't matter you you get all of this you get all of this and you get these glorious fabrics so i don't know let me have a look at this this looks like um Free spirit, Brenda Walton. You see, that's not what I thought it was going to be, but it's a designer fabric. It's a designer fabric, that one. I thought it was going to be like, what's the, la, the Jardin de la Reine? That's what I thought it was. But it very looks like that, doesn't it? It's not. There you go. 19, that's what you will get for your 19.99. So your cushion will be that colour. Yes, and then you can choose. They'll be your threads and they'll be, that'll be your spool holder. 1999. We will get to your car, don't worry. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> now, you can have the instructions on their own if you want to. If you want. Now, remember, in the instructions, you get the instructions. I'll show you. Cushion. Making the cushion. All the details about the cushion. Uh, wall hanging. And quilt. So, they've got three patterns in there. They still only charge you 9.99. Yeah, well, I'll go. I'll just redo the Liberty Buns before we start the sewing, if that's all right with everyone else. Here's your two Liberty Bundles. Which one are you putting through first, Anne? Blue one first. I know. Right now, your nine ninety nine instructional drone. So for that, for this, right, for for this bundle to make that, 
you get the instructions, they're 9 99 So for five pounds, you're getting all of this. Two Liberty Fat Eights, fat quarter of blue, and half a meter of cream. And the one you're gonna see being made is this one, also Liberté. Yes, I know, but, 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 but they're not fat quarters, the others. They're fat eights, aren't they? Sorry about the typing. Sorry about the typing. What, what are you saying? I don't understand what you're saying. Oh, if you go to the website to see more details, it's got the proper breakdown in there, has it? It's got the proper break. There, so how come we can get it right on the website, not right in here? <laughs> I know. Anyway, fourteen ninety nine. This is what you'll get. This is what you'll get. Brilliant. Fourteen ninety nine. So that's the purple one. Uh, right. Let's go on some sewing because we can't go wrong with the sewing now, can we? Oh, Cara? I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> right. I don't know about that. So where that. do we start? What do we do? Um, so with the fat eights, the only thing that I would say to you is um, just a hint. Yes. Is cut the longer pieces out first. Right. Because you want to be sure that you've got enough fabric on the actual width. So you take your uh, fat eight and make sure. If that I you've give you a fat eight, just show, yeah. just show us what you mean. Yeah, that's fine. So. These are bigger than you think. Yes, they? oh yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. So all I would say is that um, when you first get your fabric, cut these pieces out first. And in fact, the spool um, pieces will Fit at cut the out oh, at okay. the end. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've got so plenty of fabric. So in fact, yeah. um, the cushion that you've got, you could, um, they're showing the two fabrics. So there's different fabrics. I've done the different fabrics, top and bottom. So I've done the different fabrics, top and bottom here, and different fabrics to the side. Right. But there's enough in the fat eighth to have the same fabrics at the top and bottom and same fabrics at the oh, side, okay, if brilliant. you prefer. Yeah. Um, you know, you can actually have the same fabrics there and different fabrics here. So there's so different ways. To yeah, play with, in, exactly, yeah, exactly. So that's the only thing that I would say is before you start cutting, is cut your long pieces out first. Yeah. So. There you go, John. Thank you. Oh, oops. Oh, oh, I've got part of yours here now. <laughs> oh, that's fine. <laughs> Would have lost them. Thank yeah. you. Um, instructions are brilliant. Um, Amber makes instructions are fantastic. So um, you know exactly that you know you'll be able to follow it through um, step by step. Uh huh. Also, um, there are different sizes for the actual cushion to the blocks that are used on the two quilts. So that's the only thing that I would say to you is just be aware that the sizes are slightly different for the cushion. Yeah. But the method is exactly the same. So there's, you know, no problem there. Um, just very, very straightforward. So, um, you know, depending on what you're going to do, we're going to do the um, thread spool first. So um, goes through all the cutting out and everything. So what I'm going to do is start at the beginning. Quick question. Yep. Uh, oh, hang on, where's it gone? Uh, Christine says, morning, John. I finally got my sew mojo back and I'm hoping to make a quilt for my granddaughter. Do I pre-wash my fabric in advance? I would suggest yes. You know, right, for, we're gonna have controversial here. Oh, just from the point of view that um, if the fabrics are slightly different, they might um, they might not shrink because they're all supposed to be pre-shrunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, they always say allow three to five shri to percent yeah, shrinking. Yeah, but if they are slightly different, what I would hate to do is that you actually completed your whole quilt without washing it, then you wash it, and then it just some of okay. it. Okay, right. So okay. that's Cara. That's, that's Cara. That's, that's my Cara personal thing. opinion. Being a person that's never made a full quilt. Yeah, okay. So. No, neither right. But, 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 but right? If you're dressmaking, you always, yeah. always, always, unless it's dry clean only fabric, you always wash it first, right? Because you don't want that to shrink at all. What I quite like, I like when Lucy Brennan used to say this, she'd make the quilt out of fabric straight away and finish the whole quilt, then wash it. And if there is any shrinkage, it just pulls it in and gives it that lovely vintage oh, feel. Okay. So it depends what, what, what yeah. you're looking for really, yeah. doesn't it? And also um, from the point of view of the waddings that we offer and everything, um, you know, 
that's the other thing that I haven't got massive amount of knowledge. So, you know, you'll all have different um, experiences with the different waddings yep. and things like that. So, um, it's like H640. I don't think I've ever washed anything that's been quilted with H640. Oh, it must be possible because we do most cushion exactly. covers with it, don't we? So, exactly. or maybe I'll take one home and wash it then. Yeah. Uh, Stuart says, morning, everyone. Another oh. day sewing with you while, you're, while my car's in the garage. Oh, lovely. Um, anyway. Right, so so what? So we cut the pieces okay, out. Okay, sorry, I'm just no, no, on. no, carry on sewing. <laughs> I forget that I'm here and not just <laughs> being like at home. It's just lovely. I'm having a new sewing room. What? Well, not a new sewing room. I'm actually going back down to the office that I had before. Um, my daughter's moved out now. So she that moved was out her, ages ago. I know that was her office. Yeah. So um, we actually over Christmas started decorating and things like that. But I'm going to have a separate cutting table and a separate area to sew. Oh. I know, and I can't believe it. And I'm just thinking one of these quilts would look absolutely gorgeous on the wall. On the wall, yeah, so, exactly. Anyway, um, but I love being here where you've got the machine, you've got your cutting, yeah, you've yeah, got yeah, you know, yeah. At home, I'm having to move stuff around at the moment, so. Um, it's just nice to be somewhere where you can do that. Okay, so you cut out all your pieces. You're going to make the spool blocks first. Um, so we're going to do the center of the um, spool. I love this machine because you've got your um, quarter of an inch. So it's zero six and that will move your needle over and then you'll just um, work to the edge of the foot. So the question is, is do I treat myself to a new sewing machine? Do you? I don't. Have you know. got, got room for two? Um, I've actually, I've got an overlocker. Oh, okay, so that can stay and, out. Yeah. And and a sewing machine. So you know, at the moment, um, but the sewing machine I've got, I've had for thirty years. Oh, I know. you can't get rid of it, can you? No, I, oh gosh, no, I wouldn't be able to get rid of it. But um, some of the sewing machines that you have, because things move on, oh, don't yeah, they? Of things they do. change. Yeah. So. So all I'm doing is um, putting right sides together of two op opposite um, patterns and you can do this, um, you know, you can just carry on and prepare everything first and then just machine um, very quickly. Yeah. Also remember, I've been saying this for the last three days, if you bought an advent calendar and in number 24, there was a voucher to use. Today's the last day you can use that voucher. Ian's just reminds us, but I've been telling you for the last three days. Ian, who's, not, who's got a day off, he's not in work today. What's he doing messaging in? <laughs> so then you'll take your pieces and just press them. And then you'll, I'm just going to press them to one side at the moment, then mm -hmm. you'll join those two together and that's the centre of the actual spool. Oh, that's quite simple then. Isn't yes. It? Just thank you. There you go. So the, um, the option is that you could have your spools, um, you know, where the threads are like that or the blocks are like that or like that. I prefer them when they're op opposite like that. Uh -huh. um, but also what you can do is when you actually put them together, you can play around with the placement. So for example, these ones that um, I've got here, you've got oh, the blue yeah. Yeah, opposites and the um, purple opposites like that. So we'll just machine those two together. And then we'll do the actual end of the spool next. So Julie says, Cara, morning. morning. I love your easy to follow free demos. <laughs> Free? Free? <laughs> like, woo! No, which means free, she doesn't have to pay for them. Oh, bless you. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. That's very kind. I love sharing stuff with people. Uh huh. Especially when they don't want it. So I'll talk, <laughs> I'll talk about sewing to anybody and they're sat oh, there. Oh, I see what you mean. And just so, like yeah. blanked over. So uh, it's lovely to be able to come somewhere and um, people are as enthusiastic well, as yeah, you exactly. are. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which is lovely. Yeah, no good going to one of your drinks parties in the village and trying to tell the local <laughs> farmer all no. about sewing. <laughs> I know. So I'm just going to press those to one side. You can press them open or you can press them to one side. I like uh -huh. to press them to one side. So that's your centre of your spool. So the next part is doing the actual ends of the spool. And these are these two cream blocks here. 
and then you have these tiny tiny little pieces that you're going to sew like that oh yeah i didn't even notice those does that to give the the the, the, the actual bobbin, the shape, shape yeah, of the bobbin oh the brilliant ball. and um i find it easier to just um draw a line uh -huh. so you know that you're going in the right direction because there's nothing worse than actually um sewing a batch of these and then realizing that you've actually done it I'm wrong. the wrong way yeah. yes exactly and this message is message on the bottom my sewing machine is a 1980 faff stitch and sew it's light years away from the machines you have today says melanie oh but i, but bet, melanie, it's I bet you love it i bet that that's the only thing you get used to a machine and all, all its different foibles and things like that so um there's just a couple of things i would like to have i love having and um, that quarter of an inch and the different stitches yeah and then also the um cutting yeah of course the thread you know, cutting yeah, yeah the thread cutting is perfect uh now we've got the purple cushion kit in the liberty Pur purple cushion kit in that we're using there's less than 20 of those now oh phew. okay the blue one is less than 20. the blue one is less than 20. the one the sample's made out of uh and says the chap who came to service my boiler yesterday asked me what i was sewing poor thing then got a full <laughs> explanation before he glazed over completely you did well <laughs> yeah he's literally going a coat a cushion <laughs> but i suppose it's the same it's like if it's a guy for a boiler or something like that if he stood there and talked to somebody about what he does for a job yeah and um you well, know goes not, into in... no exactly i'd yeah. just like right okay <laughs> i believe you so this is when if you've done all your cutting and everything you can actually is it batch sewing uh-huh yeah you can just go ahead and have a long line of um pieces that you've sewn together whoops oh. So you've drawn the line on but now you've dropped the square you i know sure i've got to remember where i put it, it yes. i would normally put a pin in there just to hold it but they are quite tiny yes, so exactly. you don't want to fold the fabric yeah. too much okay so and i love this little tip that um Rebecca uses and I think she she got it from somebody else oh yeah to actually fold these um, triangles out of the way before you cut right so got the other one underneath so obviously with the friction pen that line will disappear when you press it uh -huh. so you want to press over the top to set the stitches and then you'll press the triangle over you don't have to press it with an iron you can just do it with your fingers right. but if you actually press that can you see that that is quite you get your nice shape yeah there whereas if you just cut it before you press it then you won't always get your triangle oh, okay lined up like that uh, Viv says I did the same thing on a bus chatting <laughs> mentioned I sew quilts then bored the lady showing pictures of all my quilts poor woman <laughs> I love it but if we don't talk about it people don't no. know that you know it's it's a thing obviously it wasn't a bus in London nobody talks on the buses <laughs> in London I bet the journey went quickly well for Viv maybe not the lady <laughs> I have to look at all the pictures okay and then we'll cut those you can cut them with scissors you don't have to cut them with a rotary cutter uh -huh. so about a quarter of an inch away from your stitching same on the other okay so now these are the ends of your spool but right. you'll notice that you've got a gap either side yeah so we take the narrow one that i threw on the floor and we'll just sew those and is that the background color that you did the other yes. side there, yeah yeah so 
So we'll just sew those in position. Actually, this uh, I, I've either not cut this properly or the quarter of an inch is slightly different. Oh, it will be if you've said the other. Have you said it on your machine? Um, no, oh. no. Anyway, don't worry. Why is it too long? Um, no, too short. Oh, okay. But don't worry about that. Yeah, not worried. I'm not worried. We're in safe hands. <laughs> so we'll do the other side. I think it's might be a scant quarter. It says quarter in it. You move the knee. You can, uh, uh, if you're zero, so you're on zero. Oh, uh, which machine it. have you got? Six yeah, eighty. Yeah, six. Zero six. Yeah, yeah, done that. Anyway, must have been my cutting when I cut them out. Did you definitely put it on quarter inch when you started? Um, yeah. Oh, okay. Not to worry, I'm not worried about it. As long as it's within the quarter of an inch seam allowance. I might have done something slightly wrong. Okay. No, you don't need it with the, with the setting. Oops. So we've sewn down either side, so I'm just going to press those open. Again, sew the seam to set stitching. Oh, it's Cat making all that noise. <laughs> What's she Hello, doing? Hello, Cat producer Cat from next door. Oh, right. Okay. Right. Right, I'm going to trim that because I right. don't like it being like that. I'm just going to trim some of it off. Just take your time when you're cutting out to make sure that you're accurate with your um, measurements. Mm -hmm. This is a proof of the pudding, isn't it? Um, right, what you want to do, we're going to be putting that there and there. And what you want to do is make sure that your seam is in the right position. So um, you'll see on some of these, I've done really, really well. Uh huh. Okay, on others, not so well. But oh, okay. again, I'm learning, I'm still learning. So what you're wanting to achieve is this point here. And then wait, we'll just wait a minute, yeah. the camera's just focusing. There you go. Yeah, so you want to um, make your join just there. So you yeah. want your seam to be there. Right. You'll see on this one, I wasn't so accurate. Right. Okay. But that's what you're trying to aim for. But please don't worry about it. If you look at it from a distance, you can't I'm see. Also, who's going to come and look at your cushion that closely? Somebody that you bore at the, on the yeah. <laughs> on the oh, bus or something like that. Yeah. So what you'll do is you'll lay that on top of each other yeah. like that. And you can put a pin. And what I found is that I drew <laughs> a quarter of an inch. Yeah. And I actually drew a line, or made a mark there, just yeah. at my quarter of an inch. So do that on the top and the bottom. It's very quiet. Well, it's because they were chattering so loud I couldn't hear what you were saying. <laughs> do you want there. some background music then while you sew? <laughs> you can sing. Can you no, sing? I won't sing? Can you sing? No. Have you ever tried? Yes. And? I was told not to sing. <laughs> when was that? Who told oh, you school. that you couldn't? Really? Yeah. I loved it. I'm a very enthusiastic singer. Are you? Yes. So do you Especially sing? Especially songs from the shows. Love songs from Do the you shows. sing at home? Oh, yeah. All the time. Do you? All the time, yeah. Really? Yeah. I'm on the radio. Listening uh, to something I, yeah, on the radio. Yeah, Elaine Page on a Sunday. Now, I have to be a bit controversial here. I was a Radio 2 boy come through and through. Not anymore. Not anymore. Why? So, well, all they're all leaving. I know. You see, Vanessa Feltz went in the morning, didn't she? And then uh, Steve Wright's gone in the afternoon. And then Ken Bruce is going. Um, so I found, I was flicking through uh, the, I've got Greatest Hits Radio on my radio now uh, on the car. And that's fantastic because I know all the songs on there. So you'll sing along in the, in sing the along car? Sing along in the car, sing along on songs to the shows on my, on my cassette player. Oh. And what about um, in the shower or bath? 
Oh no, it, I haven't got a bathroom. Well, I've got a bathroom, but it's so tiny. I've got a family house right, and the bath in it is so small. Oh gosh. It's ridiculous. Um, no, I don't think it's that. I'm mainly going, oh, is it time to go? Oh, I'm going like that and say, oh. I love singing, but I've noticed as I've got older that my voice has changed. I used to Broken. be a, like a soprano, <laughs> but it's a lot lower oh, now. A lot, lot lower. And I was talking to Vix, because obviously, obviously she's a singer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was sort of saying, you know, when I retire, I'd like to um, join one of the choirs, you know, like the rock choirs or oh, something yeah, yeah, like yeah, that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I said, you know, I can sing maybe at a wedding or something. And I'll be singing, thinking, oh, I'm singing really well. And actually, I'm listening, and my voice is just, like, not good. And she said it's because you don't use your... Um, oh, that's my reason. That's right, yeah, my yeah. reason. Yeah, and um, she said what you need to do is do some... Um, Exercises. Yes. Says she, who arrives at a gig as a gin and tonic and goes out and sings. Oh, gosh. Like Jane McDonald. Her, she used to say her warm-up was a vodka tonic. <laughs> So I would love But it to is, if you, it's like any muscle. If you don't is. use any muscle, exactly. it's going to get weaker and not be That's as strong, right. isn't it? But it is a shame if you were an enthusiastic singer and at school they said, oh, no. Oh, can't. no, totally wrong. Totally wrong. It's not on, is no. it? Me and Cheryl Ashworth, we were told to shut up. Really? Yeah. And did that put you off? No, not really, because you could just mime. You don't put anything yeah. into it then, did you? You just sit there pretending to sing. I think it's wonderful when people can sing. Oh, I, when it's, I was saying this yesterday. It's like, I was the day before, I wish I'd been made to do piano lessons really? when I was little because now I can't think of anything nicer than sitting down at the piano and just, you know, tink, tinkling the ivories. Is that what they say? But it's kind of, I couldn't, I don't even know, wouldn't even know where to start, wouldn't know no. what to do. And my godson, Luciano, who's a musician, can just sit down at, at the piano and just do anything, make any songs and tunes and all sorts of things. It's incredible. I mm. think it's a wonderful talent and I think it's, you're creative in a different way. Am I? Yes, of course you are. Getting telling fibs are. of why I'm late and things like that. <laughs> <laughs> creative fibber um but everybody's got oh yeah, you know, yeah. no a, a no talent. totally we've all got different skills exactly i think it's when you get children that are real prodigies musically and you think how do they do that yeah how do they do that and like with um piano and things like where people just play from from mm -hmm. not sight from sound yeah you know and can just it's wonderful um right sorry that's all right, getting away with your singing yeah. there. I'm not going to sing, definitely not Oh, no, but sing. the party I'm going to on Saturday, the big show busy party, uh, they're oh. serving food from 6.30, and then there's a gospel choir for an <gasps> hour before the DJs arrive with all the dancing music and everything. Where are you going? Uh, it's in Farringdon in London, a gallery in Farringdon in London. Oh, my gosh. But it, more it, more uh, Angel more than Farringdon, but the road that goes from Angel to Farringdon. How is down come there. you got that invitation? Is it all the friends the people? Of mine. I know. It's their 60th the birthday. Oh. Wonderful. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah, I am going to be, I reckon I am going to be like the, the cousin, the out of town cousin being all like, like that, walking around. Oh, really? Like that, yeah. Are you staying up? Oh yeah, of course. Good. And what are you wearing? Don't know yet. Oh. It's casual. It's not smart. It's casual. Right. So I don't know yet. But something black. I oh think. my gosh. Can't wait to hear. Yeah. Are you allowed to take photos? I'm going that to, show, yeah. Show don't you worry, I shall be, yeah. Right, sorry, I've been, um, we've been talking, so That's I don't right. know how these spools are going to end up. We'll see. But like you say, somebody's not going to go up and sort of say, oh, that's not very... No, uh, exactly. Would you say this was good for a beginner? I would say it is because you're learning different skills, um, but you're getting something beautiful at the end of it. And um, you'll see on the sample that I've done, I did the quilting um, that, you know, they suggested. But when I was um, putting the cushion together, I thought, do you know what? I'd, I'd possibly quilt round the outside. Oh, okay. You know, Not rather cross than doing yeah. the, the cross hatching, um, you know, quilt round the outside and across, so it makes it look more like a spool. So if you do the horizontal lines as oh, well. Oh, I see what you yeah. mean. Yes, 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 yeah. Do lines going across yeah. the spool, yeah. So take your time when you're actually matching those spools. Um, and we'll see. Ooh. Oh, oh, not too bad. Oh, good. <laughs> so I won't Says have the to expert. <laughs> I won't, I'm not an expert. Um, I won't have to hide it so much. So I'll press that. And that's how you make a spool. So you do exactly the same 
when you're doing the quilt. So now are the spools on the quilt the same size? No. So the spools on the quilt are slightly larger. Right. Um, but you know, once you're, you know, you're going to do four of these blocks for the cushion. Yeah. Um, once you get to doing a quilt, you're going to be making it a lot, lot more. Right. Um, so you will get used to it and you'll do it in batches. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. So that's one spool. Lovely. Like that. Okay. The next job is actually joining them together. So you will have cut out um, some different thicknesses of these um, sashings yeah. at the side. So that's what we started with. And then you'll put sashings oh, as down. Well as, yes. as well as the one you put down the side of yes. the spool, you then put another one on. Yes, yeah. and you know, when you're close to it, you think, oh, that doesn't really look like a spool. But when you stand back yes. from it, yeah. it's like when I'm looking at it now on the um, camera, yeah. um, you can see that it does look like a spool. So you'll add those um, side pieces and you'll do that with all four of them. Right. And then you will have a sash for the middle. Okay. Just down here. So I've already done that one. So I'm just going to do this one. Okay. While you say that one, I'll just yep. tell you about the bundle that Cara is using. It's uh, the cushion one uh, with the Liberty. So what you get here is you get half a meter of the lilac. You get um, a fat quarter of the cream and two fat eighths of the Liberty fabric there. Should be 19 99 but Hannah decided to take five pounds off. So it's 14 99 till midnight tonight. These are 9 99 on their own. Think about that. Right, Joe. Then I've also got the Liberty one in the blue, which is one car has already made. Okay, less than 20 of the purple, single figures of the blue. So in the blue one, you get the instructions. You get half of each of the cream, fat quarter of the blue, and two fat eighths of your Liberty. Graphics are correct, Matt. Thank you, Hannah. No, no, but you, you got it sorted, that's what I mean. 14.99. Beautiful. The two quilts people are asking after. Right, so the original quilt, which is this one here, in which you get two and a half meters of your cream, a meter of your gray, the instructions, because obviously the instructions in them have the cushion, the wall hanging, and the quilt. This is enough fabric to make the quilt. And then you get your 10 fat quarters. These are all these lovely, very, very soft pastel -y tones of the sewing range. 59.99. And that, if you look on the, pat on the pattern, that's the one that's uh, featured on the pattern. That's what it'll look like. And then we also have this, this is going to look lovely, this one. This is one is made of Stuart's indigo elements. So what you get on this one is you get uh, two and a half metres of the blue, one metre of the white, the instructions, and ten fat quarters. Beautiful. There you go. That's 59.99. And then instructions on their own. 9.99 unbelievable really when you're getting three lots of instructions in there we have wadding this is 50% cotton 50% bamboo now this is you're buying it off the roll you're buying it off the roll so you can have as much as you want it's over two and a quarter meters wide it's £5.49. It's half cotton, half bamboo. £5.49. Lovely and soft, this one. Beautiful and soft. You don't need half a metre for the cushion. It's if you bought, you'd need more for you if you do the quilts or whatever. Carry on. <laughs> listening to you chatting wittering on <laughs> so i've got my blocks like that yeah and as i said i've done my opposites like that yeah um yeah sashing in the middle yep so now sashing in the middle so take one of your um, patterned fabrics and you'll join that together with your sashing strip and this again is just where you want to try and match the seams as best as possible. Uh -huh. What I'm going to do is actually just push that one so I can nest them. Mm -hmm. um, because this one, I've actually 
um, pressed to the middle right. there and to the outside. It's just easier when you've got layers of fabric and all mm. the joins and everything. So um, let's just pop that one there. And this will be between the two like that. I'm just aware Lovely. of the time. Yeah, no, no. And then um, we've got the panels there. So I'll carry on sewing if that's okay. Okay, that's fine, yeah. Quite happy here. <laughs> So as I say, just fold your um, seam open and you want to try and match that as best you can. Mm -hmm. And then just pop that under. So I love the fabric that they've got there for the quilt. The, the pastel so one. So nice. Yeah, lovely, Love isn't the it? colours. And they all look quite different. We've got one on the shelf. I know that um, somebody's used different fabrics. So With if batiks, you've got your, that one's made out of batik. So yeah, if exactly. you've got a stash at home, oh yeah, definitely. You can if you buy the your, pattern on its own, yeah. you've got your stash. You can make, and you can make all the cut. You can make the cotton reels all different colours. Yes. If you wanted to, if you've got your stash, you only need a tiny, tiny bit of each one, don't you? But they do all look quite different in the different fabrics. And then you can also play around with either having vertical spools or horizontal spools because the actual um, panel that you've made is square, so you can rotate it. Yeah. Which is nice. There's so the one made that Kai was just talking to you about the batik. We don't have those fabrics, but if you had your own fabrics, you could do something quite bold like that, couldn't you? Structures on their own. Morning to you both, beautiful cushion, Cara. My friend and I were called Husky and Growler at the sc at school by our music teacher. <laughs> Don't know why, though. But I think, um, you know, the programmes that we've had on recently w with choirs and things like oh, that? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Anybody yeah. the, can. Like the What's It Wives, so, uh, Service Wives. Yes, service, yeah. yeah, but I think, you know, with the right training and sort of, as you say, exercising your voice, anybody can I also think can as long as you enjoy it and you're exactly. enthusiastic. Oh, it, my gosh, you know, yes. So, and you can't charge. If you're going to be tuneless, don't be charging people to sing. But no. if you want to enjoy it, yeah. go to a choir and just sing along and have yeah. a lovely time. I went to a concert at Christmas time and it was our local rock choir. Oh, wow. And it was just amazing, just so uplifting. Um, the music was fantastic. Yeah. But um, they, they sort of do actions and things like now, that. Now, so I'm wondering now, I know I said at the party there's a gospel choir. I think I might have read it wrong. I think it might have been a rock choir that yeah. we're going to see. Yeah. Which is more in keeping with Koki and Tom. Yeah. But It might be because they use they sing a lot of modern yeah, yeah, tunes. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but the ladies that were in it were just amazing. They really were, oh. and that's what sort of made me think. Oh, maybe one day. Yeah, do it. <laughs> one day. You've not got enough time to fit it in at the moment, then. No, no. I've got three jobs. Three? <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to ask now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's she saying? I'm not going to tell you what there. <laughs> <laughs> They're not full time jobs, obviously. No, one obviously couldn't do that one full time, no. 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 What one full time? <laughs> I don't wish to know. I'm just so you glad don't I'm not know. hearing. Just Hannah being naughty. It just came out, she said. <laughs> But I'm so are lucky. Are they all sewing? Are, are they all? No, no. no. Um, two, two are sewing related yeah. and then the, the other ones at the leisure centre. Oh, I thought you'd left the leisure centre. No, no, still, oh. no, still at the leisure centre. But I only cover when they need She's cover. She's a personal trainer at the <laughs> leisure centre. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> we have some lovely personal trainers. I bet you do. We do. Um, no, at the leisure centre I'm only covering when they need cover, so I'm working Saturday and Sunday this weekend. Oh, okay. So, um, oh, that's nice, just to do it every now and then. Yeah, it is. It's lovely doing yeah. it every now and then, but it means, um, you know, that it's only, you can see it practically from my house, the leisure centre. Yeah. So it's only local. Were it's you a member lovely. there then? Um, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> but I do go. Oh, good. Yeah, two or three times a week oh. when I can. You wouldn't think it would change. That's not it's what not I'm saying. To, it's not it's to just keep healthy. Yeah, exactly. That's I don't blame all you. it is. I so. should do more exercise. So there you go. Lovely. So how are we doing time-wise? We're about yeah. to finish. Oh, there you go. Well, I'll show you the other bit. So that's your...
panel, mm -hmm. then you will add. This is obviously the purple Liberty one that we're working with here. So you add um, the square either end, but before you do that, you add your top and bottom. For this one, I've, I've decided I'm going to go with the purple. So okay. Then... Now, Derek, who's a music teacher oh. in Scotland, says, Cara is correct. Everyone can sing successfully in a choir, but not when everyone will be a successful soloist. Oh, oh, there you okay. go. Uh, my daughter belongs to the local rock choir and she's made so many new friends there, says Suzanne. June says, I was in the school choir, but was made to stand at the back and mine. Me too. <laughs> Me too. I said, I wasn't at the back. Um, just there to make up the numbers. Oh, oh June. I'm sure not. Um, I'm and sure then, not. oh, and um, Ma Marie is saying, I have to watch on my phone as my channel is all pixelated. Oh, get your telly sorted. Ooh. So you've got, go. you, oh, you've got all the same all around the edge with I've cornerstones. I've decided to then. go all the same around the edge. Lovely. So that's what you'll do. You'll join the, the pieces up. And then on the one that I've um, done there, the blue one, I did diagonal lines. So I wanted, oh, there we go. Thank there you, you John. <laughs> so don't be too stressed about making sure your diagonal lines sort of go through the right part here and here. It's doing this. Um, diamond in the middle yeah. and then everything else will follow through so I put my H640 on the back drew my lines and then did my quilting but as I say as an alternative you could just quilt around the edge of course of those, could, yeah. and then across the center brilliant right I've just got to get you to check out on your which one have we got in the moment blue we've got the blue one in the moment that's it that is this one Susan that's that one there's the bundle, half me to the cream, fat quarter to the blue, two fat eights to the liberty, and your instructions. Oh, hang on, what's that? What's saying? Oh, Barbara on my bottom. I used to sing alto, now sing second tenor. No idea oh. what that means. You can keep singing at home, help the voice get stronger, and makes you happy. Barbara, it does indeed. Definitely. It's very, it, does it release endorphins or something like yes. that singing? Because yes. it always makes you feel better, doesn't it? Oh, Claire, I'm 61 and I've taken medical retirement. I've started singing. I'm now in five choirs. Whoa. And I'm learning to play the piano. Good on oh, you, Claire. Excellent. Good on you. That's the kind of retirement I'm going to do. I've got to fill my time with my retirement with all things like that. Brilliant. Right, and then I've got to do the purple one. Oh, the blue one's about to sell out. Blue one's about to sell out. Few more of the purple ones. Uh, half meter of the lilac, uh, fat quarter of the cream, two fat eights of Liberty, plus your instructions. 14.99 should be 19.99 member and they will be 19.99 again after midnight <coughs> uh, i'll do instructions on their own first then shall i while it's here instructions on their own now in the in here in here you get the instructions for the cushion the wall hanging and the quilt you don't need to buy it separately it comes in all the bundles this is just if you've got your own stash of fabric that you want to make it with 9.99 then the two quilt kits i've got here are the yeah the original one's the most popular original one's the most popular so you get your gray and your cream background and then all those lovely pastel sewing icons and stripes and everything plus your instructions that's what this one's made out of and indeed those two 59.99 beautiful three and a half meters of fabric plus your 10 fat quarters plus your instructions and then for last but not least, the Stuart Indigo Elements. This, you've got your two and a half metres of your blue, one metre of your white, and then your ten fat quarters plus your instructions for £59.99. Now, Cara's back in an hour, and she's been going to be, We're not doing the wall hangings. We're no, going to we'll, talk through the we'll wall. Talk through uh, the not wall. wall hangings, wall yeah, plant but, hanger thingy yeah thingy patchwork big. plant pot thank you <laughs> but you're gonna be making oh it's falling off there it is <laughs> this fiona has for little drawstring bag beautiful right don't go anywhere because after the break it's me with uh, sewing room tools and uh, gadget at manager's special prices we will see you in four from now Follow Sewing String on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too.
Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day.
missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! As we went into that break, right, I ran out the door and I could hear this funny noise. And I thought, what's Bruce doing sending like do 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 no, noises down my earpiece? I ran to the, the toilet, there all these people out there. Apparently there was an alarm going off, right? And I was like, that's not very loud for a fire alarm. We all had to get to the front door. We all, I hadn't been to the little boy's room by this point. We all had to go to the front door. I had no coat or anything like that. And then someone came down and went, no, 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 it's not the fire alarm. Intruder alarm. It, that's the security of this building is like you can't go anywhere you know so somebody had gone into a room where they shouldn't have been in they're just trying to find out who it was now i know so that's why we're a little bit longer that one anyway let's start let's start let's start let's start i love this i absolutely love this right if you're watching manager specials on friday had ian on at 12 o'clock and he had a lot of these on right and i'm just th thought you know hannah and i just thought do you know what we're going to do them again because once they're gone in this batch we might get them again in the future but we want to just uh, clear the space don't we right this is a four in one dome right it's 99 pounds 99 pence normally split pay 49.99 twice shall i tell you about it or shall i crash the price let's crash that price and i'll tell you more about it it's a brilliant crash this one it's a brilliant one 59.99 look at the split pay look at the split pay now 29.99 today 29.99 uh, in a month's time and that's it then paid for um there are buttons across the top for you to use but i like using the uh, remote controller so it's a four in one you can do heat you can do cool you can do humid humidifying and you can do like diffuser aromatherapy things and everything like that i'll show you right right so you get the um remote control i'll put it in shot there there you go you get the remote control here ready to go it's ready to go now you see you've got on off you've got swing you've got heating you've got humidify you've got speed and you've got mood light so let's just switch it on Right, switch on, right, now it's on cool straight away, right? So it's gone on cool, and you've got a lovely, gentle, gentle fan coming off there. Beautiful. Then, if you press speed, listen. And then there's another. It's really, really fantastic, right? Then, you can set it to swing. Oh, hang on, I'm at the wrong angle. For it. There you go. Right, watch swinging it round and you see the blue light that's on it there that shows you that it's cool oh that's nice oh now look at that on my microphone and it's swinging back round again swinging back round let's turn the swing off let's turn the swing off there there you go so the the, the little sensor is in there that you point your um, remote control to then i've put it on heat now i've put it on heat now the heat 
only has one speed. You can't make it go faster or slower, but it has the one feed. Give, oh, you see already, already it's warmed up already. It's fantastic, but you can still do this. It can still swing on heat. There it goes, here it goes. Swinging on heat, right? I'll turn the heating off there. Right, so then, well, I can make you go back to cold again. That's gone very warm very quickly, right? You can then, I won't do this because you can press to do humidifier here as well, right? Quarter of the, all right, we only had a few of these left and a quarter of the stock's gone already. Quarter of the stock's gone already. Uh, you can change the mood light if you want. Look, you can have the red light on when it's cool if you want to, but that would just confuse me if I did that. Right, let me just switch it off. Right, and I, oh, now this is the other thing. When you switch it off, I've switched it off. There. So don't do what I, the first, you know what I'm like. I did it the first time. Oh, it's broken. It's broken. That's the switch off. You just have to let it wind itself down. Now, at the front here, you've got a little section. Come on, John. That, that little section, if you're turning it into a humidifier, you've got your little section at the front here that you take out. You slide that bit out there. Oh, you don't do that. There's your little, uh, right. But what you do get in your bag is your little funnel for your borrowers. To, to fill it up with there's a little bar there you go so that's if you want to do it as a humidifier but the other thing you can do let me just put that back in there that goes in there that goes in there i haven't put it back in properly come on john message on my bottom uh, how fabulous use my credit from my sewing machine purchase so even more of a bargain nice warm cool sewing room for me from Haley. Haley, as well if you've if you've got your advent calendar and you haven't used the voucher that was in christmas eve you'll get 10 pounds off this if you use that voucher i oh, know today's the last day you can use it right now the other the other thing i've got to show you here is the humidifier uh, not a humidifier you know i said it could be like um a diffuser diffuse right what you can do on this one is you just unclick the back like that in there there's a little sponge right drop your aromatherapy oil on there click it shut put it on fan and it'll do lavender or whatever flavor you've chosen it's up to you obviously whichever flavor you choose it will just it will so you turn it back around obviously and obviously it will fill your room with lavender eucalyptus whatever you use all the time uh, positive energy whatever you want to use you can use it for that right uh, and you get two of these for free you get two of these included two extra pads so the one comes in it and then you get another one with it as well two others with it as well 59 yeah so i'd keep one for lavender one for eucalyptus or oh, i'd order more of those i, I presume you could just go straight it's beldre uh it is beldre yeah beldre this one just go to beldre and get some more of those and then you can have your different flavors or you can wash them through, rinse them through, and change if you don't like that. Trip. Anyway, I love that. I absolutely love that. Over half the stock's gone. Over half the stock's gone. I just love the fact that you can be sitting on the other side of the room. Like, if you're in bed, if you're in bed nighttime on a hot, hot summer's evening, and you think, oh, I really need the fan on, you could put it on from your bed, couldn't you? Let it cool down the room for a little while, and then switch it off. Oh, now it switched off straight away that time. I, I wonder if it depends how long you've had it on for to how long it takes to switch off, because my microwave does that. If you microwave something, sometimes if you just have something for 20 seconds, it doesn't make a noise, but if you had something in there cooking, like the spinach, it takes a good minute for it to stop the fan going, doesn't it? I think I've got everything there. Haven't I? Oh, 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 now I've missed something off. Two heat settings. Well, hang on a minute then. Let's put it on heat. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. So what do you say? One's what do you say? 900 watt. 1,800 watt. I didn't, now I've missed that out. If that slide, if we hadn't had that slide there, Bruce, thank you, then I wouldn't have, uh, what else is on the slide? Then I can tell you. Uh, remote control, done that. LED ring light, done that. Aroma diffusion, done that. Three speed sitting, done that. That was the only thing. That was the only thing I forgot to do. Essential oil not included. Stay fresh. Oh, stay fresh all year round. That's Hannah's look, catchphrase, that, isn't it? Right, that's beautiful. Make sure you check out on that. 
Oh, right, 10 left. 10 left, that's it now. 10 left. They'll go, they'll go, they'll go, go. And like I say, if you had the advent calendar and you, um, uh, and you had the advent calendar and you had it in 24th, you had a voucher, spend 40 pounds or over, save 10 pounds. You can use that on this. Or, or didn't they have a, like, who was it just messaging about? They bought a sewing machine. They got, they got uh, credit added to their account, didn't they? So, Hi, John, please can you say hello to my husband, Stuart? Hello, Stuart. Uh, we're on holiday. What? You're on holiday in the Maldives and you're making him watch me? We are on holiday in the Maldives and he's watching Sewing Street from his sunbed on YouTube. Sally, Sally and Stuart. Are you watching separately? You're both in the Maldives on sunbeds and you're watching separately. Or are you indoors watching it and he's out on his sunbed? Is he falling off his sunbed? You be careful, you don't get burnt around that edge of that thong, Stuart. It's very, very easy. When I was in Sri Lanka, I got very sunburnt around the top of my um, swimming trunks. Just be careful. Always sunbathed. Oh no, that's drinking, I'm thinking of there. Cautiously. Anyway, 59.99. I don't know what I'm talking about. No, no, it's what, when, when you say, when you drink, it always says, oh, when they advertise a drink on the advert, it has to say, always drink with something, drink awareness. I was getting that mother with sunbathing. Keep checking out, there's a single figures now. Single figures, right. Where would you like to go next? Right, okay, the HEPA vacuum, right, that's this. That's right, that's right, that's right. Right, this is, uh, before I start, you're most probably going to go, what's a HEPA filter, John? Well, let's explain what a HEPA filter is first before I tell you about the, the, hoof, uh, the vacuum. So here it is. It's an acronym, which Hayley couldn't even say. It's an acronym for High Efficiency Particulate Air Filter, as officially designed by the US Department of Energy. This type of air filter can theoretically remove at least 99.97 of dust, pollen, mold, bacteria, and any airborne particles with a size of 0 0.3 microns. Now, that's the American spelling of mold, not the village in North Wales. Right, because that's where I used to live in mold, and that's how it's called. The village in North Wales is called mold. Right, Earwoodgrug in Welsh, Earwoodgrug. Right, what is it? What is it? Have we got Ian's son's video? Right, let me show you this. This is Ian's son in action cleaning the mattress, the family mattress, or the Ian's mattress, right? <laughs> I'll explain what he's doing now, but I just want you to see that's how easy it is to use. How easy it is to use to get the dust mites and everything like that, out, the um, bacteria out of your mattress. You can use it for lots and lots and lots of different surfaces, lots of different things. Right, let me explain the actual machine then. So here it is. It's got quite, it's got a very, very long cable. It's like a three meter cable on this one. Uh, you've just got a switch on the back there, right? You literally press that now. Only use it on the flat. Don't try lifting it up. Don't face it to people anything like that. You can only use it on the flat, right? Now, it's quite noisy. It's quite noisy. Listen, uh, this is going to make more noise because it's just on a wooden bench, not on your mattress. But look. Right? And then you literally, you can see the UV light under there. You can literally just uh, put it all on your mattress like this or your furniture or your cu green curtains on the flat and everything. I'm gonna I'm going to switch it off because it's very noisy, isn't it? But that's it on and off. Then let me explain to you what's underneath here. Across here, you've got a UV light, right? And then in here, this is the filter. So let me just take this out. This is your HEPA filter here. So this, oh, this is the actual filter there. Now this will be, need to be replaced after 560 hours of use. That's quite a lot of hours of use, isn't it? But what you do need to do, this is where all the dust particles go into. What you do need to do is you need to clean this and you need to clean this because if it sucked up live dust mites, they can carry on living in there. So you want to clean that out. I would do it every time you used it personally, but you need to clean those out on a regular basis. And this only needs replacing after 500, I think it was 560 hours or something like that. Let me just double check. Uh, 
Uh, oh, no, no, this one's every six to nine months. Six to nine months, this one. I tell you what, the, the, the other one, the other one with the filter in is 560 hours. So you need to replace that filter every six to nine months. And you can go, just go straight to um, uh, Casablanca Home or wherever it's, uh, whatever the make is. Right, okay, that's that, that's that. So that is what it does, it's brilliant. Last time we had this on, it completely and utterly sold out. Come on, John, you can do this. Do not put it on, do not face it at people. Don't always use it, use it on the flat like that. 34, is that the price? 34 99 No. Hannah was so busy enjoying watching it. <laughs> 29 99 29 pounds and 99 pence. So let me just repeat what a HEPA filter does for you. It's, it's world renowned. It's an acronym for high efficiency particulate air filter as officially de defined by the US Department of Energy. It can theoretically reunite if you get hay fever, <coughs> if you get allergies, if you get, you know, kind of all that sort of stuff, it's gonna help, isn't it? Pollen, dust, mold, bacteria, and any airborne particles with a size of 0 0.3 microns. Brilliant, isn't it? Now, uh, it does come with the instructions manual and what you can and can't use it for. Uh, on all the bits and bobs it's very simple just plug it in and go but what you must do is um, recommended cleaning speed less than 20 seconds per meter three times round oh okay so you need to repeat so you go up and down your mattress repeat don't just do it the once repeat it repeat it repeat it brilliant and it is it is the device equipped with a two and one protection function Oh, fewer than 20 of these. Here you go, this is what I was saying about don't lift up. If the device is raised too high or tilted too high, the function of the UV sterilization and beating will stop. When using, please make sure the device contact with the surface is completely on to ensure the normal operation of the device. So don't be doing this. Don't be doing, oh, sorry, that's my bad, not putting it in properly. Don't be doing that. Just keep it flat on the surface and do it like that. 20 seconds per metre and go round three times. Brilliant. And you can do curtains, but I think you have to do curtains on the flat, wouldn't you? Did it mention curtains? Let me just check. Quilts? Oh yeah, brilliant for quilts. Absolutely brilliant for your quilt. Especially, especially if like me, you let the cat sleep on the bed. A duvet, you can use it on your duvet as well as your mattress. If you let the cat sleep on the bed, it's brilliant for that, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant. 29.99, these, these are gonna sell out. Single figures now, single figures. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, right. I'm going to do that next then. Okay, this next gadget is not a toothbrush. Don't do what Hannah did and set up, right, I'll, I'll explain, I'll explain, explain, right. I've got one of these, mine's in blue. I don't know, mine might be a different make, but mine is definitely in blue. I didn't rip that box, Hannah must have ripped that when she took it home last night. Right, she took it home because she's made a video for you of her bathroom. Oh, it's only photo. <laughs> So she said, would anybody mind if I took this home to prove that it works really well? I'll make a little film, a little promotional video of it and everything. So she messaged me, don't show it yet. She messaged me saying, oh, well, I've done this and I've done that. And I was like, is it on the film? And she never replied. And I wonder why she didn't reply. Anyway, look, what you get is you get the, the, the actual, um, the actual, uh, pro um, what's it called this? The, the unit itself, right? And then you get four different brushes for four different jobs. You get the full instructions with it and everything like that. Now don't do what Hannah did, right? She put, you see the button here? The button is on the back, right? The button's on the back of the... So she set it up like her elec le electric toothbrush. So she put it the other way around, right? She didn't use it as a toothbrush. But then what happened was she's trying to clean it and she's thinking, this button's not in the right place. It was really awkward. And of course, Bruce, she came in this morning, Bruce said, well, that's on back to front, that's why. So the button is on the back. 
So then you can use this. Right, I'll start it off, right? Right, now you can either use it in quick bursts like that, because Hannah also said, oh, I had to keep my finger on it the whole time. You don't at all, right? If you put it in and put it up, it works continuously, right? But literally, you can do that, scrub, and then you can, so, and then you can use all the different heads for different things. But then the button's on this side, so you can keep your finger on it if you're doing floor, because I use mine in the, in the uh, shower like that, so I do the grouting down there. Hannah was doing the floor tile, so you can imagine, she was doing it like this, the button was on the underneath here. She's like, this is really, really awkward. So she didn't make a film, she just took two pictures. These are by the back door to clean the grouting before and after. That's a shadow of a phone. <laughs> so what she wants to show you is the tiles inside the back door were like really grubby. The grouting was really grubby. And after she only did it for a few minutes because she got bored and she didn't use any soap. She only used it with hot water. She didn't use any soap at all, right? That's her just using, I use mine with my bathroom spray and everything. It's really, really easy to get them on and off. You just slide, click, there's a grooves, you just slip the, into the grooves. Oh, don't, get, put, don't put it on the wrong way. You put it in the groove and you just twist it like that and it's on. That's as, it's as easy as that as taking them on and off, right? But make sure you remember it's not a toothbrush, you're not doing it that way. There you go. So literally you've got the unit plus four different, but which brush did you use, Hannah? The big one there, yeah. Oh, that one there. So you haven't touched that one or that one yet there. I'm just wondering what that one's for. I don't know if mine's got that one. Oh, it's on the side of the box. Here you go. Okay, so this one here is your large bristle, bristle brush head. Perfect for tiles and grout. The small one here is ideal for stove tops and appliances. The cone one is great for corners and crevices. And this, this is soft, this one here, suitable for, de what they're doing the inside of the, the rim of their, I'll put it there, the rim of their washing machine or tumble dryer there. Actually, I need, I want to have to check mine at home now, make sure I've got that one. Before, and we've got to see show the before and after. Is that the right price, Hannah? Oh, actually, what are you eating? Salad? That sounded more like a muffin. Right, crash in. Brilliant price. 19 pounds and I told you, you two could do this to your tiles inside your back door. You could do, do yours even easier because you could use soap on yours and you could get the button in the right place. Did you not even think? To, oh, oh, by the way, it doesn't, it doesn't come with the batteries, but you, the batteries are in, in the bottom. Oh, hang on. You press those in. There you go, really easy to take off. You, there's two buttons where you press on, I, I'll just put the two buttons you press there and there and that just releases the, um, and then your batteries are in there. You need four of that size, double A, four double A's and then you just click it back into place like that. So easy to use and so easy to put together if you don't make it into a toothbrush. Yeah, I was looking forward to the video as well. 19.99. I know, no video, just that. And is that all you cleaned? Did you only do that little Y or did you do the whole floor? Oh, she did the whole floor afterwards. Did you have to have an early tea again to get in time to do that? When, when, she, when she's got a project due, she says to Steph, we're having an early tea today because I've got to clean the kitchen floor. Anyway, 19.99. You did what? You had to chippy tea. Lemon, pork, prawn and pa lemon, prawn and what? Pasta. Broccoli. Ooh. Is it? I don't like prawns, you see. I don't really eat pasta. Well, I will be on Friday. Uh, oh, well, I know I'll be done at the weekend. 19.99. No, because the menu at the party is Lebanese. It's Lebanese food at the party. And then Italian breakfast on Sunday. What? Oh, because you go to the Italian cafe. And I'm gonna go and see Francesca's mum, because she's, um, she's looking forward to seeing me. 19.99. Keep through, keep going through, keep going through, keep going through. Beautiful. 
Right, shall I do the last gadget while I'm over here then? Now, this one you must not put, uh, uh, um, this is one you must not put um, aromatherapy oil, essential oils in and things like this. You mustn't put in this one. This is just your Climate Cube cold. This is just for cold, right? Go straight down, straight down, straight down. It's called a personal space cooler, this one. Personal space. 24.99. 24.99. Now, as you can see on the front there, you've got your little like Venetian blinds, your directional thing. On the top there, you've got your, this switches it on and off. Oh, it, it won't work while it's on a tilt, by the way. That's your on and off. Oh, no, it is that, see? And then there, you've got your two different settings, your speed settings. The, the reason that's flashing there, I'm going to switch it off, is because you're meant to fill it with water. And the way you fill it with water, uh, it's like this, right? Uh, you might be see this from upstairs, Bruce. I'm not sure. Look, you see, that comes off. That's your water tank. So what you do is you fill, you take it to the, t to the sink, the tap. <coughs> Excuse me. You fill it up with water. And then you clip it back into the machine. Then what will happen is when you put it onto the machine, you will hear the machine going glug 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 because you're filling the reservoir within here you're filling the reservoir within here when the glugging stops you take that back off again you go and refill this as much as of, of you so this is now full with water so you need to put it where you want it before you start filling with water so say you want it on um, a cabinet in your sewing room or something like that you've got to place it first so now you've got water in the reservoir in here then this is now full with water you clip that down you switch it on and you do your two different temperatures using the button there and then when the water levels get low that little it won't do it now oh it's, i can actually do it now has that gone red there can you see that goes red? When it's, you've got no water, that starts flashing with red so that you don't use it. Now, you can also clean it out. You can clean it out here because you've got little buttons on the side of the machine here. Can you see there, little buttons on the machine. You press both of those and then that top bit lifts off. Then this is your filter. On this one, this is your filter. Now, this is a bit like the one in your tumble dryer. You can rinse that through the wall, through your, under your tap and everything like that just to clean off there, because that's where all your bits of gubbin are going to go. That's the one that needs to be replaced after. Ooh, it's gone freezing in here, isn't it? That's the one. No, I need, the, I need that one on there, because the aircon's gone really, really cold, isn't it? Um, uh, hang on, it tells me here. I think it, this, I'm sure this one was so many hours that you need to replace it. Replacing the cool, 540 hours. 540 hours is when you need to replace that. And then all you do is you just pop that back on there like that. Oh. Oh, come on, John. There you go, there you go, there you go. And then it clips back down on there like that. Put the water tank back in there. Now, the other thing about this one is it's got one of those plugs. Look. That you can change from a three pin to a two pin. See what I mean? Oh, I've got some sides for this one. Got some sides for this one. Let's have a look at it then. Uh, can I have it on the big screen, please, please? Oh, hang on. Oh, I've got two different ones. Hang on. Environmentally friendly space cooler uses very little energy, unlike most standard cooling appliances. Their words, not mine. Cools your personal space by up to 8.7 degrees Celsius within a 1.8 meter cooling area. Ideal for your craft room space. Three fan, sp oh, three fan speeds. In the book it only says two. Six hours run time per water filling. Indicator light when empty. Clean tack technology. And the power rating of 7W little r. Don't know what that means, but there you go. Was that it? Was it just that one slide? Yeah, brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant. And it's 24.99. This only does cool. And you do not, do not, do not put essential oils in this one. Don't put essential oils in this one. So there you go, that's $24.99. Oh, Climate Dome, one left. One left of the Climate Dome. Should be $99.99, $59.99, one left. You too could do your, if I brought, I meant to bring my Jerry Halliwell wig today to show you. Can, you know, you could do like a, not a Beyonce, what's that lady that does a lot of that in the green dress? 
No, no, no. Um, modern pop star, not modern pop star, pop star. She wore the same dress as Jerry Halliwell. Not Janet Jackson. One like that. And she does lots of, lots of like wind machine, like Mariah Carey, Mariah Carey. Oh, okay. I don't know what, to, oh, there it is. The HEPA vacuum. There are only five of those left now. Five of these left, that's it. I'll move that out of the shot. There you go, just five of those left now. 29.99. Their manager special prices. Right, now, come over to this shop. It's, Carl, we'll have to sort that out before Carl comes on. It's, I, I'm, no, I'm all right, because I'm going this side now, because it's not cold on this side. There's, 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 we've got the air conditioning, not playing up, but it's kind of got a mind of its own. There's a fan that obviously hits that table straight on there. Can, can I do what? Overlocker, not in this hour. Uh, but we've done a deal for you. Hannah's done a deal for you, right? So it's only £309. It's our most affordable overlocker, right? We have put a pair of serrated edge scissors with it. So I did not blade Where, sorry, where am I going? There you go. Uh, but look at the split pay. Five way split pay. You don't have to take it if you don't want to, but if it helps, you pay £61.80 today. Elna will sell you the, send you the overlocker. And then you pay the other four payments uh, at £61.80. No matter wh what happens with the interest rates, you will never be asked to pay more for it. Yeah, yeah, the lowest we've offered you to get it home, this is. We've never, ever, ever had it on five-way split pay before. And everyone go, goes wild about how brilliant the price is for, for, for a, a fabulous machine like this. Right, okay. Right, where am I going next, then? Oh, let's see if I've got any questions. The big bond to web, there's only three rolls left. Here we go. This is now this is the most affordable way to buy Bonder Web from us at the moment because in here there's 30 meters in there and it's 45 centimeters wide. Keep it in the box because you can put it you can put it so that you can um he says there it is there it is you know like you do foil and things like that so you can deliver it out there. Now one thing that will happen is when you get yours you will get like a hundred of these leaflets we can hand it out to your friends if you want. You can recycle them if you want. It's because these are ones they normally sell to shops. So when you go into the shop and you buy a metre of bond web, they'll pull you off, peel you off a metre and then give you a leaflet of how to use it sort of thing. So you will get that in there. It's, got, it's on a tube, so it's nicely rolled all the time. You're not going to have folding marks through it. And um, keep, it keeps out of the sunshine and keeps it stored really nicely, dust-free, because obviously that's going to last you a bit. Like, unless you're Delphine, that's going to last you a long time, isn't it? Um... Are we going to the craft show in the NEC in March? I don't think we are. I don't think we're at it, uh, Donna. Because uh, who was here the other day? Um, Catherine Wright's going to be there. Catherine Wright's got classes there, but we, we, we've not got a presence there, I don't think. No, I know we haven't got a presence there. Brilliant. Uh, how many of those left, sorry? Three of these left. Look at the price, 117.99. Split pair, 58.99. Bond went 30 metres in there. Now, I know Delphine get, would get... I, we gave Delphine one of these last time she was in, and she'll have nearly finished it now. But it's a fantastic, fantastic way to keep... If you're going to do lots of applique... Because remember the first hour, we had all that lovely lawn. Uh, if you're going to do applique, Helen Newton applique, Delphine applique, it's always good to have it there. And this is the most affordable... Even though you're laying out 117.99, it's the most affordable way of buying your Bond web. And if you do it for a living, if you're, going to make, if you're making things to sell... How brilliant to have this already there in your, in your stash, ready to go. Ooh, I don't trip, can Right, let's move on. What's next? Some quilt as you goes. Which one would you like to do first? Yeah, this one. Right, this is one big piece. I, I'm just going to have to do this, sorry. 
Um, this is one big piece. Now this is eight. This is the only one that's eighty twenty, I think. But oh, now I can't open it. This makes you one big um, piece. It's quilt as you go, but you do it all in one big piece sort of thing. See in there. So the idea of it is, how many of these have I got? So the way it works is like this, right? So this is your batting and it has all of the sections already marked out. Now the blue lines are placement lines, they're not sewing lines. So what you do, I think I've got a piece of um, Sanderson fabric here. So what you do is you, f you, you have to follow the numbers, right? So, oh, of course, number one's going to be the one over the crease, isn't it, like that? So what you do is you get a piece of fabric. The first one goes on right way up, right? So it tells you in your instructions, it tells you all your cutting sizes. Look, so it tells you that pieces one, two, three, and ten need to be that side. Pieces four and five need to be that side. So number one gets put down right sides up within so it will sit because these are placement lines it will sit on that line right and then when you get number two which is this one you place it over there you sew a quarter of an inch along inside there then you fold that one over and the edge will come to here then you do number three which is over there then you do number four here so this will automatically make one big quilt in one go there's no blocks it's just one big block for 16.99 I'm seeing if there's a picture. That's kind of what it will look like when it's done. See, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then you do those at the end there. And that makes, it's 14 seams, a finished size of 40 by 50 inches. But what you do do is you put your backing behind here, you put your wadding, and then you stitch your fabric on the top, which means you're quilting as you go. So once all the pieces are in place, you've made your quilt sandwich, all you need to do is bind it and it's finished. 16.99. Brilliant, lots of those gone, lots of those gone. Just fold that one up there. Now, I can always come back to it, I can always come back to it. Where would you like me to go next then? Yeah, London Lab. Okay, are there, these are 8020 as well? Oh, brilliant, because they're not all 8020, are they? So this one here is your London Labyrinth. So I'll explain what you do with this one now, because I've got one open here. So, what you do with this one is you've got your batting, again 8020, sorry I said that first one was only 20, but can you see, you've got each of your blocks separately here so what you do is you cut each of these blocks out with about an inch around the outside here so you're only ever working on that size there you put your backing fabric underneath here you put your wadding there then you start with the number one square in the middle there facing upwards remember these are your placement lines then you get number two and you put number two right sides together there, so quarter of an inch inside that line, fold that over, so then you've got one and two in place. Then you do number three, so that one's there and there. Then you'll do number three, so you'll place one and two are down there, facing up. You'll then put number three right sides together there, so quarter of an inch along there, fold it over and press that across there, so you've then got the whole of that square done. But what you're doing is as you're stitching them on, your lines are actually going through to the backing as well. So you're quilting it as you go along. So remember any stitches you do on the front, you will be able to see them on the back because that's your quilting, right? Then what you do is you do each block right to the edge. Don't trim down to this line. Keep them big, keep them big like that. In fact, what I would do then is trim them down to like half an inch. You see where the little corners have got the crosses on? I would cut it down to there. Don't cut it down to this line, because remember these are placement lines, right? So I would cut it down. You'd make all six of them, and then what you do is you make a sashing. And it, all the instructions are in here of how you do it and everything. 
So what you then do is you then cut strips of the fabric, remember these are separate, and you sew them together, creating this finished look by putting sashing in between them. So that's the only time that you have to work with it as the size of a quilt, because all of these are quilted. So that's the only time you'll have to run, but you're only doing straight lines under the machine. Uh, what size did it finish at? 24 by 36 inch quilt, a 24 by 36 inch quilt. But then if you want to make it twice that size, you buy two packets. So it's been 16.99. It's a brilliant way of doing quilting at the beginning, like not practicing quilting, but you know, kind of doing your piecing and your quilting at the same time. Yeah, also putting things through your machine, also doing your quarter inch and everything like that. It's a very, very good um, skill builder. Skill builder, that one. Okay, then, oh, that was London Labyrinth. Let me give those to Kat. All right, then I've got... Paris on point, exactly the same again, exactly the same. I mean, different pattern, obviously, but exactly the same technique again. So again, you get your six blocks and then you do it in the same thing. You cut the, these are, this is on 80, 20 again, remember? You've got each of your blocks, I'll just show you one block there. So number one square down and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that's it, nine, nine pieces, that's all and you made a block and then you do your sashing, but you do have to put your backing in there, your wadding, and then you're sewing your real fabric, your top fabric onto the top there, using your quarter inch seam allowance. These are placement lines, not sewing lines, but all the instructions take you through it, tell you what to cut. Now, my tip, my little tip here, is it tells you what size is to cut out here? Like pieces two and three are two and a half inches by five inches. I would always cut them slightly bigger. Only when I first start, only when I first start. So I would cut those at three and six, just to be on the safe side. Because sometimes you don't get your quarter inch seam lats exactly on, do you? And you don't want it not to match up with the next one. Beautiful. Now I've got one with polyester on it. Oh, this one looks bigger. Oh no, it's the same size, same size, just looks bigger. I tell you why, it's because polyester wadding has more loft to it, doesn't it? So this one is called your rolling stone block. Again, now this is brilliant. I haven't got a different picture. If you place this with fabrics, it can look so completely and utterly different. So there you go. Now on this one, it would... Okay, picture on the website is the same one, but laid out differently. Different colours, look. Beautiful. So this is your rolling stone block. This is 100% polyester. One. Now, the other thing I'd say about this one is be careful when you're doing this one. If you, I, I would not press the seams until the whole quilt is done, the whole block is done, because you don't want to get your iron caught on that polyester. It's not iron on wadding, no, Christine, it's not iron on wadding. You need your 505 spray. Seven, that moves then without me touching it. Seven of these left. Now I've got it here, got it here. The blue stripe you want, I did at the beginning. Uh, this one's slightly different because you only make one big block. You don't make six little blocks. 40 by 50 inches. In fact, that one's bigger. That one's even bigger than the ones you make with the blocks. Now imagine if you've got your favourite Liberty prints or your favourite William Morris prints or your favourite Tulars. Yeah, it's one to real show off your prints. If you want to then try out quilting on the top, you can do, yeah? Brilliant. Have I? Sewer's extra finger. It's very an unusual looking thing, this. I'm in the wrong place, there you go. 
So what's it? What is it? You say, well, look, if you're doing your ironing and you want to get your finger too close to the iron, you can use this to hold down the fabric. Or if you're stitching and you don't, and you want to hold the seam down or the hem down with it, you can. Because let me show you. Look. So one's a, a flatty and one's a prongy. It's funny, isn't it? How did you design that? Use the whole fabric right up to the presser foot. No need to sew over your pins or your fingers. We'll tell Amanda a little of that, shall we? Use it to hold seam allowance and prevent it from puckering at each end, especially when doing a lock stitch. Use it to hold trims and ribbons steady while attaching the hem. And use it to keep your fingers away from the iron when opening seam allowances or folding bias tape. Applique! Use it to keep your fingers away from the iron when folding seam allowances around a template. Keep those folds in place while you attach it. Embroidery! Use it to create loops and flowers in ribbon embroidery. Holds threads in place when making special stitches. Crafting and household. Use it to hold things steady while gluing. I missed the E out in gluing. Tease out the perfect bow or loop. Hold a knot in place while you tie the other. Or if you haven't got your fish lace, you can pull your bacon out the pan with it. That doesn't say that on there. That's just me. And I don't eat bacon, so I don't know. Or you could prod your baked potato, see if it's done. Uh, it's not food friendly, I don't imagine. So don't use it with your food. Oh, I love these, says Stuart. So handy. Brilliant. Anyway, it's the Sewer's Extra Finger, it's called, from Hemline. Fifu, it's got a Fifu. Love it. Saves my fingers from getting sewn or burnt. From Cynthia. Thank you, Cynthia, my love. Thank you for that. Books. Oh, hang on then. Weekend quilts are so Oh no, hang on, I've got two weekend books. Two make in a weekend, that's sold out, fine. Stash busting weekend quilts. That's it, that's right, that's right, there right, we go. Oh, actually, I'll move those out of the way. So, it'll sit properly. so here we go. Stash busting weekend quilts from Annie's Quilts. 13 projects. 13 different projects in there. They stitch up in no time, apparently. Square flare. Square flare using 30 pre cut five inch squares with a bit of background fabric. Is that a table runner? They've got it on a coffee table. I've never seen that before. I wanted to design a table runner that could be whipped up quickly for a gift. I love this pattern. Let's the fabric shine. Beautiful. Then you've got Stashalicious. Then you've got Pretty in Pink. Obviously, you don't. oh, that'd be nice if you just got lots and lots of um, scraps, wouldn't it? Two and a half. Oh, oh design roll. Should use your design roll for that one. There you go. I had a 20 strip jelly roll on hand and wanted to use it. That's nice. Yeah, it's just over a pound a project, isn't it? Twists and turns. Maple butter. Oh, I love maple syrup. I don't have it in the house because I end up just drinking it out of the bottle. No, but when in the Carol Vorderman detox book, it's one of the sweet things you can have. Bits and bobs. Oh, that's like Wendy's yesterday, isn't it? $14.99. Then we've got boxwood. Oh, that's nice. That's lovely, isn't it? That one? Oh, you haven't even seen it yet. Kaleidoscope square, is it called? No, star, star, star. Well, it's just got a square in it. Somewhere in around the outside. Oh, I like this bit here. It looks like half pinwheels. It's only half square triangles, but it looks like half pinwheels, doesn't it? Then we've got all roads lead to home. Well, I wouldn't say that. They don't always. 
Anna, almost crazy. Cheese platter, ooh, yes please. Cheese. I wonder why that's called cheese platter. Oh yeah, I wanted to make a cheddar quilt. I wonder what a cheddar quilt is then. Is it the colours? No, because you've got blue, haven't you? We've got that one with blue bits in it. That's funny, isn't it? Off the rails, Bruce. Oh, happy trails. That's nice. I chose patchwork sizes that could use regular stash or leftover pre-cuts. What's the matter? And then you've got your quilting basics there. That's a lovely book. Is it $14.99? Oh, cheddar quilt. So cheddar quilts are distinctive yellow or orange. In Pennsylvania in America is where they first came up. There's a lot of cheddar in Pennsylvania then. Oh, it's an old pattern. Well, it's like it's... Oh, all use oranges. That's interesting. Well, that's a little bit of research we could do. Lovely. Next. Morning, John. I was watching you and the lovely Wendell Orlando yesterday. Could you tell me what sewing machine she was using? Love the show today. She had the Juki something, DX7, is it hers? Yeah, something like the DX7, the NX7, something like that. It's the one she's got. It's not the 8, it's definitely not the 8, because she bought that one, and then they brought the 8 one out, didn't they? NX7. NX7, NX7. Two colour quilts. Oh, that's dramatic. Oh, I like the quilting on this. Look at the quilting on this. So you've got eight, you've got eight patterns in here. Again, just over a pound per pattern. Beautiful, look at the, oh, look, always to the point, that's Hannah. She gets there eventually. <coughs> now you always get your point across. Yeah, just sometimes more aggressively than others. No, John, the orange one. Oh, okay. Who's being witchy? I'm not being witchy, Steph. I'm just telling the truth, Steph. Which Steph is it? Oh, you're Steph. Oh, right, let me go back. Let me go back. She's not talking, she's not talking about me. She's not talking about me now. So I thought somebody emailed in called Steph saying, why are you being so witchy towards... Steph, the boyfriend of Hannah, says when she's in this kind of mood, when she's like, do this, do this, do this. We're going to have an early tea because I'm cleaning the floor. He says, why are you being so witchy? Got it now. Got it now. I thought it was Steph had messaged in. That was all. Rocky Mountain, the one on the front, look, Rocky Mountain Sapphire. That's nice, isn't it? I love the quilting on that one. Oh, I watched um, the Pottery Throwdown yesterday. They make the, you know these series, right? Where they start off and they either get celebrities or people to do, like the cooking one, and not the cooking one, the baking one, right? When it first started, it was like, make a Victoria sandwich, make a Battenberg. Now it's like, build a whatever. Anyway, I, th I think it's the same with all of them. The Pottery one yesterday was such a difficult project for them to do. I mean, they did brilliantly. They did really, really well. But anyway, templates in here. House of Gems. We should have one of those in the, res in the restaurant. We haven't got a restaurant. In the um, recep reception. It's funny because they were talking during uh, Pottery Throw Down last night. She went, oh, someone's just going to come up from the restaurant. And I was like, they haven't got a restaurant. They'll have a room where they have their packed lunch in, won't they? Beacon in the night. Oh, that's nice. That's very dramatic, isn't it? Oh, now that's naughty, because that's more than two colours. Oh, well, yeah, blue, 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 cream, blue. They're shades of, it should say, not just two colours. Indiana Ivy, two colours. That one is two colours. Um, love at first sight, pink, red, blue. Cream, yellow. Look. Oh, 
Oh, it's time for a break. Hashtag. Oh, Jenny Jackson, she made that, shouldn't she? Hashtag so. And Cherry Tree. Make sure you check out, make sure you check out. Special thanks. Oh, that's not squilt. £9.99. £9.99. Well, are, we, are we doing anything else before we go for a break? No, we're going for a break now. Car is up after break. We're going to be talking about hanging potted plant holders. And, um, oh, the little bag behind me. Oh, is it gone? There it is, little bag. Fiona has bag behind me. We will see you back here in four from now. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media and pick up some top tips from us too. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP, even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? 
You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Do I split pay? It's got a capital S on there. Look at that. If I was a school teacher, I'd think that was wrong. <laughs> anyway, I'm not a school teacher anymore. Cara's back. It feels like it's a different day. Today's going on for so long, isn't it? Cara's back. Lovely to see you. Did you have a nice break? I had a nice break. Thank you. A nice coffee. So feel nice and refreshed. Did you chat to anyone? Was there anyone in there to chat um, to? No. Oh. No. Kat and I, I got confused. She was asking me one thing and I Producer was telling Kat. her something. Yeah. Oh, was very easy. Very easy to confuse. Not to confuse you, for Kat to confuse you. She's a bit upset, Kat. She's not been invited to Stuart's Christmas, uh, Christmas birthday, Christmas birthday dinner party. You got to stop, Bruce. Oh, that's. I'll tell her then. I'll tell her that's fine then. I. I think I'm sure it's just an over, an over. What's it? An oversight. I'm sure he meant to invite her. Oh, she's been banned from the restaurant we're going to. It's not that she can't come. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. Let's talk about these first of all. Let's talk about these gorgeous thing. Oh. And nobody warned me that if I take one off, the whole thing will fall over. Is it? Right. The other one off won't happen in your home because you won't have that well you might have that awful cat standing <laughs> in your home beautiful <laughs> aren't these lovely they're just gorgeous um i think they're so cute i don't know where i'd ha you see i love hanging at the, uh, some friends of mine own and they're friends now they own a shop in worcester they've got a shop in mosley and now they've got a shop in stratford Avon, and they just sell green plant you know no most plants are green not they ones that don't really flower you know kind of shrubs and, and they always have them on cascading down from macrame but i don't know where i'd hang them in my house i know it was that's the only when, trouble when i finished those i thought where can i actually hang them so we're going to hang some, them at the same time yeah, you do take realize some that, photographs and the only place i could find was the bird feeders in the garden oh because yes because i haven't got any hooks at home 
we'll, we'll just carry on talking. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, so I ended up hanging them um, on the bird feeders at home. Yeah, yeah, good um, idea. You don't want them on the bird feeders in your house, do you? No. <laughs> I think my, when my mum and dad used to have wooden staircase, it'd be nice, uh, open, like a mm. 70s open, so it'd be nice hanging from there. I'd have to think about where to put them in mind. Anyway, they're gorgeous. They're a Fiona Hesford design. Um, I've got four different colours. Now, we're not making these. We're just So if you've got any questions about them, and I'll give you the date that they've been demoed in the past, so you can go and have a look. We just thought we'd introduce them to you again with, with different panels. So I've got the green geometric. Now, if you watch Catherine Wright, Wright show the other day, she had a panel with these patterns on. Not the same panel, because it's got different shaped pieces on it. But if you're good, but making things to match in and everything, this is the one the sample's made out of. And it's called G Jean. It's called Jean, <laughs> this one. It's called Green Geometric, this one. Lovely. Now, what have you got in here? Now, it's really funny, because when we did panels the other day, we said we should do more 10-inch squares. They look like they're 10-inch squares, don't they? Oh, now Bruce saying, could you Odie coat them? Yeah, I've got Odie coat coming up in a minute, Bruce. <laughs> He's learning. Yeah, they are 10-inch squares. They are 10-inch squares. So you've got 10-inch squares and you've got the big piece in there as well. So I'm presuming that would be your lining. Yes. Oh, yeah, lining fabric. And then yep. there are your sections going around the outside. You do what? Yeah. Hannah likes that one. I loved it. When we had this the other day, I absolutely loved it. It's slightly different. Anyway, it's very retro to very, me. Very, very yeah, retro. Sort of like 70s. So in that, but what well, the 70s, what were they like? <laughs> I can remember them very clearly. Can you, uh, uh, can 15, you 99, John? You get that, what? <laughs> can you? Yeah, I don't know. I love the 70s. I know, I like the 70s. You get the panel and you get the instructions for 15.99. Now, what else would I need? So there's different ways of doing them. Um, the one sort of way I thought about was obviously if you didn't have anywhere to hang them, yeah. you could actually just stand them right. and I would possibly take these off. I yeah, wouldn't have the, them with that. The hanging loop. Um, so you could do them with just 8640. Right, which I'll show you later on. Yeah, and then the other ones you can do them with... With your Decaville. Yeah, right, okay, Decaville. I'll show you both those later. So that's, but that's all you'd need, just the, the, yes. st the sturdification. As yes, it were. Yeah. Okay. and then any embellishments or anything like that. Of course, oh yes, I've got, I've got pom-poms and rick-racks and, yeah. and, the, and the string and everything like that. Oh, you, it's because you got it. I'll explain what I mean in a minute. <laughs> Next one's this one. I'll tell you in a minute. All right. I need to okay. sit down. <laughs> I've been in every day for about six days, oh, haven't I? So gosh. I've got tomorrow off, though. Well, I haven't, because I've, I've got all sorts of things to do tomorrow. Do you want me to hold? What? Oh, Is that you. lovely? This one, 15 99 It's upside down. 15 99 So you get this. No, I'll leave it where it is. 15 99 You get this panel. What do they call this panel? Ditsy, delicate and ditsy. That's what we call <laughs> Bruce. 15 99 Do you get that and the instructions? Not, have we, oh, is that that one? No. No, we no, haven't got one. We haven't got one made out of that one. No. That one. Got That's one what I'm making the um, bag, but similar panel. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. We'll do that in a second then. Then we've got um, this one. I think that's that one, isn't it? It's Oh, that's the same pattern, yeah. but bigger and bolder. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Isn't it gorgeous? Absolutely pattern, gorgeous. Pattern, panel, 15.99. What have they called that one? Uh, pa ooh, uh, delicate and ditzy. Oh, that one's delicate. Primary. Ditzy. Oh, primary, primary. Yep. Okay, primary. brilliant, brilliant. Pr well, I don't know if I'd agree with primary. They're not primary colours, are they? There you go. No. Lovely teal, that one there. Right, then, last but not least, we've got another geometric one, but this one's in, like, blue and gold. Quarter of the stock of this one's gone already. <clears throat> oh, that's lovely. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? So that's the same as the geometric one in the beginning, but fabulous colours. Bold and beautiful. Bold and beautiful. Are we seeing that one, Bruce? Okay. Is that, that Alan again? Oh, honestly, nightmare. Oh, that's nice. Is it right? Is it correct? Does he know he did them wrong last week? Okay. Lovely. 
Now, other bits and bobs that you might need, <coughs> like we were just saying, was some Decaville, if you want to make it more sturdy, making a couple, or you do ha a bag making, or if you make peat caps and things like that. It's a big piece, I know, but you have it in your stash for a long time, won't you? This is fusible, this is, um, can be ironed on on one side. 17.99, lovely. Or you can have your H640. Now, which one are you doing, Han? They both end 94. Which one have you put in first? What's the WX? That's this one. So H630 is a slightly uh, lower loft than H640. That's your H630 there. Ending 94. And then I've also got H640. Right, hang on. Uh, do I get more in that one? Oh, that one's a metre. That one's a metre in that one. This is half a metre in this one, isn't it? Yeah, so this is half a metre of H640 in that one. That's about sellout. Lots of, the, lots of different things. There's all sorts of H640 on the web. That one there, that code is about to sell out, but we've got more of it on the web. Uh, now, you'll need this little bag of goodies, I would imagine. <coughs> so this is, oh right, okay, yeah. So you've got your two wooden hoops. You've got your alloy O-rings. You've got some black. Now, you didn't nick anything out of this packet earlier. No, you? not that Not packet. that one. Black <laughs> cord in two different sizes and white cord. Uh, all that little bundle there for £5.93. So that, where does that one, where does the wooden one go? So though? the wooden one is instead of, so depending on your house. Oh, okay. You know, so if you wanted to have wood, a wood ring rather oh, than... Oh, okay. Yeah. So you don't need both of those, really? No, okay. but if you're making, you know, the panels, you can make more than yeah, one. Yeah, of course. So... And then there's your black cord and your white cord there. That's the funniest picture, because it's wrong, right? Because there's two wooden hoops and there's four pieces of cord. Anyway, never mind. I'm going to get in told off today because I've been negative, haven't I, all day today? <laughs> well, no, I, I shouldn't really. Yeah, maybe. So you, that, take the picture away because it's wrong. You get two wooden, four metal, and two white cords and two black cords for £5.93. I think that's really good from the point of view that if I was doing these at home, yeah. I wouldn't know where to go no. to get all oh, the no, other no, little no, bits no, and no, pieces. It's it's so isn't like it that. lovely to have yeah. it all together? Right, so you can buy it in the bundle like that, or you can buy them individually. So there's the single one of those. 99p? <laughs> ah, there you go. That's it. <laughs> oh, well, that wasn't, that'd be no good as a monocle, would it? No, <laughs> can't do it. Oh, that's my bad eye, that's why. So we'll let the eye I landed on that, Cara. You can't tell. Mm? You can't tell, there's no scar or anything. I can't see. Oh, you've got your glasses on, girl. I know, I have got my glasses yeah. on, I still can't Need see. Need new glasses, I think. Anyway, <laughs> metal, alloy, nickel. For the other ones, if you want the other ones. Two ninety nine. Oi oi. Now, this next thing I'm gonna show you. <laughs> when we did the cushions with Delphine last week, was you you wrong, weren't you, Hannah, that day? We could sell you the ribbons of the jute and the canvas and everything like that, but we couldn't show sell you the plaited ribbon on its own it was in the kits but it was on its own right i wonder why i wonder why it's only here in cara's kits <laughs> look 99p so now if you've done the delphine you know the the, fee, the little girl on the swing or the sheep in the fields and you want some more of this ideal that's a meter piece that one 99p 99p then bruce did mention earlier that if he made these he would o decoat them so let's uh, eau de coat here. Now, if you're going to eau de coat them, would you do the inside or the outside or both? Um, inside. Oh, yes. Um, because if you're putting a plant in there, but I actually found um, when I was doing the photograph, I could actually put a pot in there. Right. Because you want to protect the fabric. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, so, but the eau de coat will do that. 
obviously, if you want to hang them outside, you could put the eau de coat on the outside. Oh, as not well. even thought that eau de coat the whole lot. Yeah, yeah that'd so be nice. In the summer, oh, the garden, it would be lovely. Summer. Yeah. Oh, now I've got loads of places I can hang them in exactly. the garden. Exactly. Exactly. That's it then. Fourteen ninety nine eau de coat. Beautiful. Right now, I've told you all that. We're not making any of those. What date, Hannah? Do they need to go and look at? Oh, we need to. We need to do a bit of uh, research. So I'll carry on with the. Oh, will it? Are you sure? Don't want to put you under any stress, Mrs. Witchy. Yeah. Tenth of September, twenty twenty-two, was when uh, they, they, um, the pots were um, demoed the first time. Right, I think Fiona came in and did them the first time, didn't she? Right, now these are so cute. They're called applique drawstring bags, and that's what this hour's all about, really. Got four different colorways, got four different colorways here. So now the colorways are the same colorways as the, what we've just shown you, but they're different panels. They're not the same panels. So we, green, I think that's that one over there. Right, so here we go, look. This is, these are big panels, these. I just love them as panels. Yeah. Absolutely love them. Right. I mean, look how much oh, you get. Yeah. Oh, hang on. If you come over here, Cara, then we get it all on one shot then. There you go. So. So the outside of the bag, lining, um, the applique and the patchwork at the bottom. There's but loads of fabric. There's enough for at least two, if not more. Brilliant. Um, which is fantastic. But if you wanted to, yeah. um, you could take the other panels and this panel and, you know, make something Mi completely. Oh, yes, yeah. mix and match, yeah, yeah, completely. So that's that one. 50 right, that's wrong, right? That's so wrong because how much are Fiona Hesford's patterns normally? And how much is a panel this size? 19.99. These panels, this big panel is normally 19.99. And... This will either be six ninety nine or nine ninety nine, wouldn't it? So you're getting an yeah. awful lot for your money. Well, that was the lady who told us it wasn't a fire alarm. It was I've never seen it before. It wasn't a fire alarm. It was an intruder alarm. You can't see. I'm telling Cara. Cara <laughs> could see. It. Oh, she could be the intruder. But she's just making herself a cup of coffee. I'm <laughs> right. Which colourway now? <laughs> I'm not going to ask. She was like, pick up the, pick up the, oh, pick up whichever one you want to pick up. <laughs> right, here we go. Oh, that's gorgeous. Isn't it beautiful. Do you know what I'd do is I'd actually make it like a tote bag or something. That's yeah. Into your fabric. That is, I love that. Yeah. I love that. And then I love all the bright yeah. colours down here. Oh, this was, was in the hanging basket. This was the most colour, the yes. most popular colour in yeah. the hanging basket as well. Oh, that's gorgeous, right? Just stunning. You wouldn't normally put those colours <coughs> together, would no, you? No, 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 <coughs> Excuse me. But also, I still don't understand why a pan we sell these panels this big at 19 99 So I've got no idea why you're getting a panel and an instruction. And if you think you can make at least, say, say you can make two, right? At least that's eight two, pounds, yeah. but that's two. Yeah. Three is five pounds something, five pounds 30 yeah. each. You know what I mean? It's a really, really good buy, that. Then I've got two more colours. I'll hold this one up then. So that one is called the, your end. Uh, delicate, delicate and, and ditzy, that Just one. like me. Just like you. <laughs> this is the one I'm going to demo. Oh, is it? Yeah. And then down the side here, there you go. Beautiful, 15 99 And one more, and then I promise we'll start some sewing. And then I'll interrupt with Rick Rack and things during the hour. Right, wait for half an hour now. Then the last one is this one. Again, I love, oh, I just love it. Trouble is, I'd love more fabric of, um, you know, some of them and make a top or a oh, dress. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, like a shift dress yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, totally. yeah, totally. Beautiful, got a message. Uh, so could you make the bag taller as there is so much fabric from Jennifer in Warwickshire? You certainly can. And you can actually enlarge the bag 
So if you wanted to make a much bigger bag, you could use the panels and Oh, like everything. a duffel bag? Yes. Yeah, make it much, much bigger. Brilliant. Depending on what you want to use it yeah, for. Yeah, exactly. But, um, right. You know, once you've got the basic pattern, it's wonderful. So I'm not going to I'm not going to go through Rick Rack and Pom Poms now, but as you use them, yeah. I might shout out and yeah, things like that. No okay. problem. Right. So where do we start then? So um, start with the pattern and um, the there's actually full size templates included in the pattern so um you know this is brilliant this is your layout for the applique um that all comes in it yes oh brilliant yeah which is fantastic so it's not like saying you've got to cut a piece that's so mm -hmm. big by so big which is why it'd be really really easy to actually enlarge it yeah um now drawstring you can have um, a fabric drawstring tie and there's plenty of fabric included and you can choose which color you want uh -huh. um so you can have a fabric one or you can have cord Perfect. that you've got um, yep. over there so you know you can decide which one yeah so the first thing you'll do um, is sit down have a read through and then just work your way through so um, you'll be cutting um, some of the uh, pattern fabrics to make these panels at the bottom so um, this is the bottom of the bag and you'll machine these together a quarter of an inch seam allowance and then you'll have a template where you'll just... Oh, I see. So you cut yeah. so it's going to make a bigger piece of fabric, then you cut it out. Yes. It, yeah. So you make, make a piece of fabric and then you <coughs> mark up and cut in there for your box bottoms. Uh -huh. So I'm just going to sew the last one together. What I love about this is, is it gives you the ideas. If you're not um, confident about doing your own designs, this sort of gives you a little bit of inspiration how you can do it yourself. Yeah, exactly. And I think once you've done it using the pattern, you'll, exactly. start, you'll start changing it around. Yes, so I was going to actually show you slightly different applique. Oh, um, where are you? Going off piste again. I am a bit. Well, I think Just, she's used felt on hers, isn't yes, she? Yes, you can use felt, you can use your stash, you know, mm -hmm. um, you need some bond web for the yeah, applique. Yeah, got bond web coming up because it was our early bird this morning. Um, so you'll need some bond web um, if you're going to do it like that, but you can hand stitch it as well. Mm -hmm. You don't have to um, do the free motion. So we're just going to open the seams. And the only thing that I would say is, depending on how, um, not fussy, but how you want the bag to appear, um, you may want to just make sure um, that there's only one directional print. You may just want to make sure that when you do your box bottoms like that, that you haven't got the same fabric. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes. So, um, <coughs> so I've got, you know, I know that that's going to be the bottom of my bag. The, those mushroom designs are going to be obviously coming up the other side. Yeah. So I need to just draw, use the template and just draw where the box bottom is. Mm -hmm. Now you can either cut that out or you can just leave it drawn and then cut it out afterwards. Yeah. It's entirely up to you. So that's the first thing that you'll do. Very straightforward. This is lovely for a beginner. Yeah. Really, really good for a beginner. Um, so we've done that. I will just cut those out. Save time later. And I like my drawstring bags for putting lots of useful things oh, in. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Things that will just fly around um, the room if you don't put them in a bag. Yes, exactly. Well, it's like your... Um, wonder clips you know you yeah. can put them in there and if you've got different sizes and can you imagine if it i'm thinking my sewing room isn't it yeah awful? your new sewing my sewing. New, new sewing room i'm thinking about fabric pots to put things in oh yeah yeah but yeah. then i can have matching bags yeah 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 to put all other things in yeah so. how long will it stay looking like a show home though um yeah <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to try. I really so am you, going to try. Have you moved anything in yet, or is it no, still? No, we're, we're, we're waiting um, for the top of the cutting table because we've we've my yeah. husband's um, put together some units with cubby holes underneath, right? And um, we need something on top to secure them all. Um, so we're waiting for that. So that okay. should come in a couple of weeks. So. so if you're getting a new sewing room, what's he getting? He's got enough. Oh, okay, fine. 
<laughs> no, he'll get uh, he'll get hopefully a little bit tidier house. I would say. Oh, because none yeah. of your sewing stuff will be streaming. Well, all over I'm that. hoping. I'm hoping. What room but is the sewing room off? Um, the hall. Oh, okay. So as you come into the house, yeah. it's just on the right. But there is a door that we can close. Yeah. Um, but it's a lovely light room. Really, really nice yeah. light room. Okay, so we've done that. Yeah. The next thing is you'll be cutting your two pieces for the actual side of the bag. Let's move I've got everything everywhere. So these two pieces, and you'll be machining that at the bottom. Of both is it pieces. is there like a seam just a it's normal just seam. a normal yeah, yeah, seam yeah, yeah, yeah. so you're just right sides together just machine across yeah. there and you'll end up with something that looks like oh. this okay lovely so once you've done that um you can top stitch which i think is quite nice just as what, a, what have a you got that attached to what's underneath that right Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Um, before that, you can either put it on, on interfacing, just right. normal medium weight interfacing yeah. if you want, or you can do H640. Right, okay. I've done H640 because right. I love the effect that you get when you do your free motion. Um, but if you haven't got H640, mm. then you can use normal medium weight interfacing um, or just have it plain because it is a lined bag. Oh, it is oh, to, oh okay. Yeah, Good. so yeah. you're going to be doing exactly the yeah. same for a lined bag. So you can top stitch there and then that's that part done. You'll do exactly the same for the other part. And then I want to talk to you about the applique. Right. So this is one where I've done a little bit of applique before. And if you've never done applique, this is a, again a lovely um, design to start your journey. Uh huh. So, what have I got with me? My mm. faithful crayon. I've got my crayon. Crayon. <laughs> crayon. So, bond, bond web. Yes. Have we got? I've got bond web. I yeah. think it's in at the moment. Two packs of bond web for £4.98. It was the early bird from this morning. Gosh, that's good value. Yeah. So, you'll take the bond web. And um, depending if, if you are going to follow this, you've got four flowers, four leaves, and the stem is actually just intersect, you know, laid over each other. <laughs> and then <laughs> I was going to make a word up. Inter yes, yes. Inter intersectioned. Um, yeah. And then there's a little part on the um, tulip there. So you'll draw these onto your bond web and you want to leave a little bit of space around the outside so what uh -huh. I normally do is just and those templates are all in the pattern are they the templates are all in the pattern um, but if you wanted to do something yourself you can pop it on paper and then draw around mm -hmm. it um, you want to leave a little bit of space around the yes yeah, you might want to do something if you make it as a gift you want to do something personal to the person you make for it, oh, like gosh. black cats or little dogs. You get, there's so many things you get off the internet that you can trace off these days. I know, days, and there? it's just an outline. So yeah. um, the other thing that I've just thought about is if you've got somebody who's just had a baby, would it be lovely to do one, you know, a bigger one yeah. for sort of putting all the baby stuff in? So you could put sort of what, little, like nappies and things. Well, uh, and, and <laughs> yeah, you could put uh, clean nappies, or, nappies, not dirty yeah, yeah, nappies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, you know, wipes and a bottle and yeah, food yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. But put an elephant or something on the so you can get an outline of an elephant yeah, 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 yeah. so you can use the same panels and things mm -hmm. like that but play oh, yeah, around yeah, yeah, with yeah, it definitely. so but I love I love the flowers as well oh got a question I made these for Christmas gifts and put hand cream soap in them very oh, easy patterns as Beverly on Merseyside oh again a lovely gift lovely and then yeah. also once they've used the, the, uh, the you know the, the uh, soaps and things like that they can, use, they can then use it for whatever they want to yes. use it for yes yes and you could make a whole batch of them and just keep them to one side and then, you know, put them in your present drawer if you've got yeah. a present drawer. Do you know what? In your sewing room, you could have a wall that's got hooks on it and you could make the bags. And then hang them. And then them. hang them so they look pretty, pretty when yes. they're there. But you could also, rather than doing the flower, you could do what's, Whatever's in, what's there. in the bag. So yes. you could do like a, a clip or a yes. needle or whatever and things yes. like that. It would look nice, Ooh, wouldn't it? Very nice. Mm. I'm getting you... Um, <laughs> inspired by my sewing room, uh, indeed <laughs> so just folded that up I don't know why I did that so um, you cut then the bond web out and um, in the actual pattern 
Um, and on the, the, pack, the outside of the pack, it's suggested using the actual plain fabric. So right. you've got the plain fabrics there. But again, I've gone a bit rogue if I can find them. Did I not see on my desk earlier like a, 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 a little pack of felts? In the last hour? No, 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 because I'm just thinking because Fiona's done hers out of felt. Oh, are they? Oh, I don't. No, they're all brown apparently. No. <laughs> but if you have got felt, but any fabric, any, you know, using up your stash. Which yeah, is yeah, really yeah, good. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so what I did was actually, again, here we go. Once you've cut out um, the panel, you'll have lots of bits of fabric left over. Mm -hmm. So I thought, oh, do you know what? Some of these would look really nice on some of these fabrics. Right. So I then um, decided that I was going to cut them out of the pattern fabric. Uh -huh. So, got so many bags with little bits say. of pieces, <laughs> sorry. That shows you're organised. <laughs> Otherwise I'd lose everything. Yeah. So that's the one that's suggested, which is really, really simple. What you'll do is you'll um, cut, so you'll iron this onto the fabric, so the, the reverse of the fabric like that, then you'll cut round the, the solid line, uh -huh. and you'll end up with something that looks... Looks like this. Uh, like Christine this. says, Cara, machine embroidery design would look wonderful too. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yes. And if you've got one of these machines and you've got your lettering, yeah. you could actually do lettering mm. on them as well, couldn't you? Lovely. Um, so you'll cut your um, piece out with the bond web. You'll take the paper part of the bond web and you'll just be left with the um, adhesive side. Uh -huh. So I did it in the pattern fabric and I thought, well, do you know what? That would look really nice. And so... What I thought we'd do oh, is on yeah. one of these, sorry, <laughs> is maybe do a row of tulips. Oh yeah, rather than rather yeah. than the central motif. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I haven't practiced this, so it's gonna to be totally rogue. Might look nice, it might not look nice. Now, what I might have done mm. is I might have attached the stems before I sewed the bottom piece on. Yes. So that the bottom, the yes. bottoms of the stems were held in the seam. Yes, what a good idea. Why didn't I think of that? Because, because, because. Yeah. So then you could take your patterned tulips. Yes. Yeah. Right, I need to do this oh. actually on the ironing yeah, board you do. rather yeah. than try and move that. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, have we got, um, I should have asked for Oh yeah, we've got the applique mat there. Yeah. We'll the mat, yeah. I didn't bring my applique mat. Not like you, you bring know, everything normally. I know, it's because I can't Thank find you. it, because I've started getting oh, things started out ready, ready for my So move. the desk's not going to be there for a few weeks, but no. you started packing up. The, the no, no, I've, start, I've, I've started getting the bags out. And so what's the room that you're in at the moment going to become then? Um, the you laundry said you room. Upstairs. Is it upstairs or downstairs? Upstairs, right. the other room is. The laundry room. How big um, is this house? It is quite big. <laughs> well, it's at the, the fourth bedroom. Yeah. Um, and it has got a sofa bed in it. So oh, okay. that, that will come out. Yeah. <coughs> so um, it's just moving things around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's like, I love, that's almost better than moving. I love moving house. Do you? Yeah. Do you that, really? Oh, I love it. Do you? Yeah. How often have you moved house? I'm not, not as often as, because when you think, <clears throat> when I was a child, we moved every few years because my dad was in the RAF. Yeah. And then when I worked in the film industry, even though I had my house in London, I was never there. I was living, you know, I could be away for a year at a time. Yes. Sort of thing. So I'm kind of used to moving around. But actual houses, I've only had uh, one, two, four. I've only I've actually bought four. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's still quite a lot. Yeah. I've lived in this one longer than I've lived in any house. But it, it sounds lovely. It sounds so nice. The oh, village no, no, it is. and everything. Till I retire and then I'm going to move back to London. Will you? Yeah. Will you really? Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. 
Whereabouts in London? Uh, where, well, I want to go somewhere like Acton or Chiswick, where you can get on a tube, on a railway line. You can get anywhere you want to without worrying and have shops open, you know, nearby. Because like, yeah. where I live at the moment is idyllic. But if I need to yes. buy anything, unless I go to the popping shop in the village, um, if I need to go to a shop, it's like eight miles away to the nearest shop. Sort of thing. Yes. So it's kind of like I don't want to be in my dotage having to get in my car and drive to get my... Oh, my gosh. How lovely. I know. Oh, and how also, exciting. I, all, I, I was in London all my adult life, so all yes. my lifelong friends all live there. Of thing, course, so. yeah. Oh, that would be really nice. Yeah, but I've got to retire first. <laughs> Are you ever going to retire? Well, I don't know. I can't take you, Hannah. <laughs> Can we all come and visit? How uh, yeah. big? How big a house? Oh, only little, no, 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 because that would be flat. the other thing. Yeah. Just a little two-bedroom garden flat for me and the cats. Sort of thing. Oh, lovely. definitely with the garden. Yeah, I've got, definitely got to have a garden. Yeah. In fact, I'm like you. So I mean, when I realised that's what I wanted to do, I immediately went to start looking for flats for sale. And I found the most perfect... <laughs> Seriously? Perfect, perfect little flat. Two bedroom. Yeah. Um, own, it's got its own bit of garden outside the back. But then behind it, and this is really unusual in London, it had a field <gasps> which was shared by all the three flats in the house. Oh, but my it was just been left as a field with trees and I just thought the cats would love that oh wouldn't they just but um I, I'm not buying it now can't afford to buy it now oh so when you could you... live in it Hannah if you wanted to but the rent would be very high <laughs> when do you think uh will oh, you I've wait? Got, no I've got uh, the thing is you kind of because I, I love my job I love what I do so I don't really want I to know, retire I know. but it's also you got to think practically and yep. things like that, you know what I mean? So I don't really know. No, I, I know. It's hard. It really is yeah. hard. I mean, if I won the lottery tomorrow, I'd go, or tonight, I'd go tomorrow. <laughs> Would you? No. That's the silly thing. I don't, you know these no. people who get, oh, God, giving up everything. I don't think I could give no. up everything. I enjoy work. I think, yeah. you know, it is, it, I really do enjoy working. But that's because we're lucky enough to have jobs exactly. that we exactly. love. I, I exactly. I said on Edith then, this is nothing against people who work in a bank, but for me, I couldn't have worked in, a, in an office, in the same office for 40 years, wearing the same polyester blouse, you know what I mean? For four, I just couldn't do it. And yet I know my accountant loves sitting in an office, loves doing figures and things like that. And that's, he adores all that. That'd be no good for me. And no. I'd be, I wouldn't be any good at that at all. No, I mean, I worked for DMC for over 30 yeah. years. And I was in an office, but oh, okay. it was in a creative yes, environment. Yeah. So uh, no day was, you know, no, no two days no. were the same. So, but, you know, I, I thought, again, I would never want to work in an office, but mm. I did. So, right, that one's not stuck very well. Oh, there we go. Okay, so what I've done is I've actually just... So this is showing you how you can utilise the actual um, <laughs> pattern. <laughs> you got two left-handed and two right-handed. I know, though. they're waving at each other. Oh, is that what they're doing? Is that okay? Yeah. I can move them if you want no, me to. No, no, not at all. I'm just looking at them from a distance. So they're all, um, I've taken the paper off the back. If you've got tiny pieces um, with Bonder Web, I tend to wait until I've actually um, ready to use them before I cut them out. Otherwise, that's when I lose them. If you can use an applique mat, yeah, fantastic. If you, if you don't have an applique mat, then do it with a, um, some fabric or anything yeah. like that. Or you so, do what Delphine did the other day and put them all on the wrong way round so they all stick to the bottom of the iron. No. Oh, bless her. I've done that before. And we all have, haven't we? Yeah. I went to 13 schools, John, moving around with my dad being in the Navy. I have 13. itchy feet to get back to Cornwall now. Alison, Marion, Marion, Alison. Oh, 13 schools, yeah. gosh. Oh yeah, it's cool. Every we moved every two every two years. We and then until my mum said she was bored of it, so she'd grown up in Chester. So she bought a house in Chester, and me and the twins moved in with her. My older brother was at boarding school at that point, but up until then, every two years we were moving. Diff we went to a different RAF camp. Yeah. Gosh. What are you doing? I'm I'm, I'm changing my needle. So oh, okay. I'm getting ready to do some free motion. Okay, if that's let me okay. do a recap of things yep. then, if you while you're doing that. Yep. So anyone I need to recap, Han? Yeah, this one, most popular one. Right, so this is the, for the bag. So you get the whole of this panel plus the he the instructions for fi fifteen ninety nine. This panel is meant. To, this size panel sells for nineteen ninety nine. So I don't know what they're playing at upstairs this week. I think every day is a manager special now. 
I'm not angry, I'm not angry, just saying. Right, that's for the bag, right? Now we also have that colorway in the patchwork fabric pot. So oh, that's like it was on the top, yep. Yeah. There you go, 15, that 15.99 as well. 15.99, so you get that. And you get the instructions for the pots. And you can make, oh yeah, you can, you can make more than one pot out of that, can't you? Yes, definitely. Yes, yes I, you can. I, yeah, I, I made both of those yeah. out of one of those panels. I just like those, I, I think, I really think, you know how we do the five inch square and the hexes? I think 10 inch square panels would be bri absolutely brilliant. They would, they would. Yeah. Right, that goes on there, that goes on there, that goes there, goes there. Anything else? Oh, let me do some rick racky things while Cara's still doing her, her um, foot. Let me do pom-poms. I've only got them in one colour. Sorry, unless you unique these as well. No, I didn't. No? Certainly didn't. £1.49? I certainly did not. <laughs> I certainly didn't. Get a metre of pom-poms in the Cerise. Sid Cerise, do you remember her? No. She had legs. Did she? Sid Cerise no, in the 1930s movies. No. Oh, she was the best dancer. £1.49 for a metre. Now, if you buy those, they do come already cut. So if you buy two, you won't, you'll get two bags with a metre in each one. Uh, then I've got different coloured Rick Rack. Anyone in particular have? Cream first. I won't get it out of the bag because you're about to see it in the bag. Look. So there's your cream rick rack. This is for decorating either the pots or the bag. 99p. Again, that's a meter. That's cream rick rack. Then I've got purple. It's a nice purple, like an imperial. You're Uruguayan amethyst purple, that one. Huh? GIA trained me. Beautiful. Then we've got like a royal blue. Ninety-nine p. And then I've got in burgundy. Oops. These are all cut to a meter. Lovely. And then the bundle that car is working with will be. As you can tell, I'm organised. Is it that one you've got? Yeah, this one. Here you go. Delicate and ditzy. If you think, right, <coughs> the size of the bag that Car has cut out there, you can get loads out of yeah. that. You can, I think, I think you can get at least three, maybe four out of that. Well, I've... If you um, use the different fabrics for different things. Yeah, and also you can use, um, if you want plain lining, you can use plain lining. Oh, yes, of course. Um, but I've, I've only used the panel for all of yes, the of things course, that yeah, I've done, yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah. So one panel will go a long way. Yeah. What are you doing now, then? So, um, for those who've not done um, machine em embroidery before, free, free motion, Yeah. Um, I'm just using a friction pen just to draw an outline. Okay, so, so you're drawing the lines you're going to stitch. Yeah. yeah, so I'm just going to um, maybe do one and show you roughly, but if I show you on here, we yeah. can have a little look. So um, the free motion is usually um, two lines of stitching going around the outside because you've bond webbed it onto the fabric um, the fabric is ad adhered but once you've started using it over and over again it will start to oh yeah bond web is not a permanent no a permanent. it's not a permanent but it's lovely to position the actual pieces um, so what I've done is I've gone round um, the tulip I've gone up and down the center part there round the outside of the leaves done the stem of the leaves if I don't like free motion can I do it you normal can do it stitches? hand stitching or, or can I use a machine and just do a you straight can, stitch you can but it you'll you'll understand because you've got curves you'll be stopping and starting yes. stopping yeah, and yeah, starting yeah. but it's absolutely fine mm -hmm. absolutely fine and then you'll notice for the um, stems I've actually done a big zigzag over the top um, which is just something different. Exactly, just so. give different textures, isn't it? Actually, uh, you could have a double-sided bag like that, couldn't you? Yeah. So that on one side and that on the other. Definitely. Uh, Derek saw Sid Cherise twice at Victoria Palace in Charlie Girl with Dora Bryan, Nicholas Parsons and Paul Nicholas in the 1980s. Oh, wow. I've worked with Paul Nicholas. <laughs> okay, so 
to get your machine ready for um, free motion, yeah. I've got a different colored thread. I've actually used um, sort of like a brownie beige thread rather than a thread that matches all the different fabrics. Uh -huh. um, so a contrast thread's good. You can go for a black or a brown if you want to, but I think the, these are quite soft and Yes, yeah, that might be a bit harsh. Yes, it? so um, I would normally do a similar color underneath, mm -hmm. um, but I've actually got cream there at the moment. Um, then your machine, I'm hoping that this machine is the same as mine at home from the point of view that you'll just have it on a normal stitch. Yeah. Um, although some machines actually do change. If you change your foot to a yeah, no, that one, foot. that one won't change. It, it, it's only if you, that one, if you change the needle plate or you choose a stitch, it moves, moves things around, yeah. but you'll be all right, yeah. So I've just done it on a normal um, normal stitch. But you've normal got needle. What, have you changed the stitch length? No, not at all. <coughs> no, because it's free motion, you're going to be actually, so it's on a zero. It's actually, it's it's realised that actually I've got oh, a different foot yeah, on it. I didn't know so that. It has, yeah, so it has changed to yeah, a zero. So, so the machine itself has changed it to a zero. Yeah. If you haven't got a machine that does that, would you put it on zero or leave it where it normally is? Leave it where it normally is. And I'm just going to try something with this machine because I don't know the machine. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I didn't know. I've that. dropped the feed dogs and the lever for dropping the feed dogs is the teeth that take your fabric through the... the um, through the machine. Oh, so maybe so, take dropping the so feed dogs. So if I just change this now and lift the feed dogs up, so yeah. the feed dogs are actually going to be taking the fabric through, it changes the stitch length. Yeah. So it's the actual it's the dropping, dropping the, feed the feed dogs, dogs which that takes stitch your length. stitch length. Yeah. So there you go. Mm -hmm. something, something new, new every something day. Something new every day. Derek will <laughs> like that. Um, so I'm just going to drop that down. And I like to, with my free motion, um, put my needle in the actual fabric where I want to start. Uh -huh. I'm just going to move the foot there. And then I normally got gloves. Again, I don't know where my gloves are. They're in my sewing room somewhere. Oh, I hope you've been in your sewing, <laughs> move into your sewing room quickly. Find know, all these things. I know, I um, know. So the gloves are really good. They're on, on the website, I'm, sh I'm sure. Yeah. But just have your hands either side of the um, actual, what you're going to be stitching. And then, oh, I did change the speed of the machine. <laughs> to very fast because I did um, load a spool. So you can change the speed of the machine, but you want your machine to be quite fast. Right. And then you'll just move your fabric around. You can see I'm just moving my hands to move the fabric. And this is a nice, uh, my foot's flat on the pedal, so I like this um, actual speed on the machine. Uh-huh. So that's one of them. So I'll bring it over and show you. So that's one of the leaves there. So I'm now going to just snip that off and do one of the tulips. Have we got time? Yeah. Yeah, and then I can talk you through how to finish the bag. Yeah. So I'm just going to go down the center there. Again, I like to put my needle into the fabric. So you're in a needle down position. And with this machine, you just get it to cut. Then we'll just go around. And you'll see I'm not moving my um, fabric around too much. I'm actually keeping the fabric straight. Mm -hmm. I'm not turning it or anything. <coughs> and having that line that you've drawn with your friction pen helps guide where you're going to be doing your stitching. So you can see how quick this um, comes together. Yeah. So let's just snip that off. Can have a closer look at this now. And you can see where I've done the friction pen, just there. But if I take the iron, move that over. And then, so you can see the blue line of the friction pen and the blue line of the friction pen there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I better not do the whole thing, otherwise all the friction pen marks will come out. Just drop the iron over the top there and there. And that takes the friction pen out and you're left with the stitching. Lovely. Ooh. 
Okay. So you'll carry on with that. You'll do all your um, embellishment like that. You can add beads. You can add some of the Rick Crack braid. So this is quite good. You know you said if it was you, you'd actually put the stems yeah, underneath yeah, yeah. in the seam. What you can do oh, is put yes, that over the top, yeah, 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 which yeah. is lovely. Yeah. So you can do that on the front and the back, and you've got that in the different mm -hmm. colours. Where would you put your pom-poms? Oh, I put them there, I think. <laughs> I put them there. So on the actual template, so that's the template there. Match it from the top. You've got two lines. And in fact, I'm going to do this on the back because I will be sewing it from the back. So you've got these two lines here and these are your stitch lines and that's for the channel for either the fabric cord or, or the, the cord. cord. cord yeah. yeah. So just pop a mark there and there. There and there. And then right sides together. Put the pins in just to hold that. Mm -hmm. So what you'll do is you're going to be stitching down the sides, but when you get to those marks that you've made, you're going to be reversing and leaving a gap. So I'll just put that in there. So we're going to sew down and reverse yeah. from here reverse all the way down to there and then all the way across the bottom okay so do you want me to do that go on then oh go on then i've got to talk to you about the lining as well so oh yeah oh, oh do you want to no, actually don't take then talk to you about the lining i was we just going to say i've yet. already still oh, got the yeah, 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 yeah changed yeah, the foot yeah. so you'll machine down and <coughs> um, do across the bottom then you'll do exactly the same with the lining which i've got somewhere Okay, what have I done with it? What have you lost? The lining. What, is it green? It's the beigey colour. Oh, isn't that ridiculous? I'll find it in a minute. There, but what colour is it? It's the lining colour. Not that one. There. Is it not on the... Oh, no. No. Oh. That's weird. Where have you put it? I don't know. Where have I put it? It'll be around there somewhere. Well, you can just tell us. Yeah, you so you'll make your us. lining. Um, you'll have a panel at the bottom. You'll have a panel at the top. That is weird. I'll find it as soon as I It'll be on the table out in the be, green room. You'll be, yeah. Um, so you'll have your lining, top and bottom like that. Yeah. You'll have a panel there. Machine across there and then do exactly the same but the only thing you don't do that you've done with your front is leave that gap either side you don't need to leave the gap either side and what um, in the instructions they suggest that you leave an opening on one side I like my openings on the bottom okay um, so I tend to leave my um, openings on the bottom and then you'll do your box bottom which is where once you've sewn this you'll actually um, can't do it when you've no, but sewn you. it but you'll make yeah. your box bottom like Lovely. that and the same on the other side then you put one inside of the other thank you so there's your box bottom yeah. you put the lining inside of the actual bag um, and then turn it all the way through and you'll machine once you've pressed it and everything you'll machine two lines and this is your channel for your cord so I've got cord in here or you can make your own cord from the. Is that what you nick the cord from off the trolley? Yeah, it is what yeah. I nick the cord from on the trolley. Otherwise, Fine. we wouldn't have been able to show everybody. No. So um, they're just lovely. They're just really, really nice. And as I say, you can just play around with, you know, the the um, actual applique and yeah. everything, and you know, make lovely gifts, beautiful Brilliant. gifts for people. Brilliant. Right. What do I want? To, what do I want to um, recap? Everything. So. <laughs> One that Cara's been using. No. Oh, nice idea from a collector in Bedfordshire. Uh, can you use Liberty Butter? Can you use Liberty Butterfly from Saturday's show and add to bag details? Yes, of course you Ooh, can. Oh, definitely. 
Oh yes, the Liberty, yeah, the Liberty butterflies, the cut out butterflies. We had, um, oh, they, they were um, uh, Alice Caroline and they did butterflies in three different sizes and hearts and everything. Oh, they were beautiful, nice. already cut out of the lawn. Nice. Right, so, have I picked the wrong one up? No, that's the right one. Is that the one you've just yeah. used? There you go. So this is the one that Cara's just used. You get the panel and the instructions for 15 99 I'm not going to say it again. Well, I am. These panels are supposed to be 19 99 so I don't know how that's 15 99 But there you go. So that's that one. And in the pattern, you get all the templates, all the instructions and everything that you need to know like that. Then the next one, the most popular colorway is this one here. <laughs> yeah, do the duvet. Gorgeous colours, single figures on that one now, single figures on that one. So you get the panel and the instructions, remember. Then we've got another one, the green one. The one that the sample's made out of. Beautiful, uh, panel and instructions. And then last but not least, this one here, primary one. There you go, panel and instructions. Bright colors, lovely bright colors. Then plant pots. The green one first. Yeah, that's at the bottom. So again, you get the instructions plus the panel. Different panel, same patterns, different panel. Fifteen ninety-nine instructions and panel. You can make a couple out of that, can't you? Definitely. Yeah. So again, that's like eight pounds a, a you know. If you're going to one of the garden centres to try and buy one of these, you wouldn't be paying eight pounds, would you? Again, Next a lo lovely gift. Oh yeah, gorgeous. You know, with gift. the plants. Especially you know, lovely lo somebody loves plants yes. and everything. But as you say. If you don't want plants, just take those off and you have them as little storage caddies and things. This one next, you say, Han. Yeah, we just said, you just said you can make at least two out of the bundle, yeah. Beautiful. Over half the stock of that one's gone. Brilliant. Uh, then I've got the, the soft one, the ditzy one, yeah. There you go. There's this one. Fifteen ninety nine pattern and fabric. And then last but not least, we've got the brights. Look at that mess. I'll, I'll tidy it up later. <laughs> Primary. Beautiful. All the interfacings, all the bits and bobs, all the, everything that we've shown during the hour are all on the web underneath where you're watching now. Don't go to the shop shop. It's all on today's show. Uh, when are you next then, Karen? Uh, 15th of February. Oh, I know. I'm ne definitely not in on that oh. day. Well, no, no, because I was supposed to be away doing uh, pavers, wasn't I? 14th oh, and 15th. Okay. So, okay. Um, so I'll be sitting at home sobbing, having no Valentine's oh, cards. Oh, messaging. <laughs> I'll message you in when I'm sitting there all sad. Uh, anyway, uh, we'll, we'll, I'll see you on the telly on the 15th. Yep. Do you want to say bye to the ladies and bye -bye, gentlemen? Bye, ladies and gentlemen. And we'll see you soon. Thank you very much indeed. All right, Don't go anywhere you. because in four minutes' time, I'll be back. Well, I'm supposed to have overlockers, but I've only got one overlock to show you. But I've got light boxes. I've got all sorts of goodies to show you and everything like that. So don't go anywhere. We'll see you back here in four minutes from now. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. Follow 
Sewing String on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? 
You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Okay, the air threader overlock is sold out, so I've just got the one quick overlock to show you here, but Hannah's done you a special deal. Hannah's done you a totally special deal. I've lost everybody. And there they are. Ooh. Um, oh. Something wrong with the camera. It went dark then, didn't it? Uh, you might not have seen it. Anyway, 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 anyway. Uh, this is our most affordable overlocker. The thing about overlockers is when I first bought my very first overlock in theatre, it was the threading up that was a nightmare, was difficult. So when I first saw this one that Elna brought in, it's so easy to thread up. It takes away the terror of threading up. So if you see on the front of the machine here, each of the... Um, <clears throat> different thread uh, ways have got different colours on them, right? If you just follow the different colour way down to the section down here, you will see how each thread, where it has to go and where it and what it's doing and everything like that. It's very, very easy. So it's our most affordable uh, overlocker at £309. Now, normally, we don't have it on five-way split pay, but Hannah's done five-way split pay for you today. So you can get this home for £61.80. And then you pay £61.80 uh, five times. Five, and that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Now, if you've already bought something today, your PMP is included, even though this will come direct from Elna. Comes with a two-year warranty. Uh, and it come, now, it does come with a manual, because if you... In the manual, it tells you all the different stitches that you can do here. Um, and then it will tell you all the different settings that you need to do, how many needles you need in and things like that. So for £309, you can start overlocking your heart to your heart's content. Got some key details here. Right, okay. I'll need to go big, near the big TV to read these. So... Uh, the, so what you get with it is you get your accessory box, your needle set, because you do not use sewing needles in an overlocker. You've got your needle threader, your lint brush, your oil tube, your spool cap large, nets, your screwdriver, large and small, your tweezers, your foot controller and your dust cover. So if you see all of those, all your kind of technical uh, things about it, I'm just going to take one. You keep looking at that for a minute because I just want to have a look. The most affordable way to get an overlocker. Beautiful. At £309, now remember it comes with a two-year warranty and it comes directly from Elna. Now it's not flimsy, it's really, really, so before the air, before, 
before the air threader came in right before the air threader came in i thought this was the, this and the 664 pro now now if you're wondering oh, what's the six the 664 pro is exactly the same machine as this all it has it has a stitch detailing on the front it has a gubbins box that's the only difference really um we're also throwing in free of charge a pair of gorgeous serrated edge scissors right so they come free with it now these will come from us this comes from uh, elna so just remember that with a two-year warranty uh so if you buy one today what day of the week is it? it's tuesday uh they will get an email at midnight tonight and then they will set the wheels in motion you could have this by the weekend you could be overlocking away to your heart's content with this by the weekend at 309 pounds such a brilliant now don't be thinking it was 309 pounds that's the most affordable one they do it can't be very good it comes with the Elna warranty. It comes with the Elna, um, you know, kind of, because all that Elna are very, very thorough with all their machines, you know what I mean? So don't be thinking, oh, it's the most Ford one they do. It'll be the flimsiest one. It's not at all. It is a brilliant machine. It is a fantastic machine. Um, uh, so what can I tell you? Any questions, let me know, and I'll try and answer them for you. But it's £309 and £61.80 pence on split pay. Uh, remember, you can do two needle or one needle for different projects. That's all covered in the manual that comes with it. And, of course, um, if you've got any issues whatsoever, Elna have a customer service team in Stockport in Manchester. You can ring them anytime during office hours and they're brilliant. They'll sort everything out for you. Fantastic. Oh, right now. But what I would suggest you buy with this, right? What I would suggest big time are these. These overlocking threads are fantastic. Now, I know £80, you're thinking, John, £80 for threads. But wait till I open the box, you see what's in here, right? Wait till you see what's in here. Right, look. You get four black, four dark grey, four light grey four beige and eight white right they're really only the the only colors you're going to use on the overlocker these are going to last you and last you and last you now the overlocking threads because they are more affordable than normal threads i would not use these on your sewing machine to sew things up with that's not what it's made for they are totally and utterly developed for the two three four stitching details on an overlocker so it's they're strong don't get me wrong they're not weak not going to snap on you or anything but they're not made for um sewing up garments and things like that what i would say to you though is when you start using your overlocker you will notice that two of the spools run out and far the loopers run out far quicker than the ones that go through the needles so all you have to do is swap them around every now and then so you're evenly using all four because what you don't want to do is have all four black ones in and then for those two black ones to run out and then you've got three quarters of a spool here only on two spools so just keep rotating them so they all are used up at, a, at a, the same at the same speed sort of thing oh no we always reeled these but they always come they always fly out everybody and as i say really they're the only colors unless you're doing unless you're doing uh, um a uh, feature overlocking right these are the only colors you'll really need uh, lisa lam as you as soon as you use one you'll wonder how you manage without it john your shirt's amazing thank you lisa lam i've been doing black and white all week see so i'm off tomorrow and then i'm in for stuart's birthday Anyway, that is your overlocking thread there. Fant and as Lisa Lamb says, once you've got an overlocker, you'll wonder how you, how you didn't have one in the first place. So if you are thinking of getting an overlocker, that deal is brilliant. Now, I don't know how long that five-way split pay is staying on for it. I imagine it's only today. But you know what this place is like, anything could happen. But I'm not adding any undue pressure whatsoever, but I know it's definitely until, mi definitely until midnight tonight. It'll be until someone remembers to take it off, won't it? right i might come back so if you've got any questions i'll put that back in the middle of the desk there so if you've got any questions oh remember you do get a free pair of scissors and you do get five-way split play say that again oh yes you can move yeah let me just double check yeah let me just check let me just check i'm sure you can move the blade on this one Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, there you go. That's the answer. Thank you, Jane. I was just about to have a look. Jane says, I have this overlocker. You can move the blade if you don't want to cut the fabric from Jane. Thank you, Jane. Oh, thank you. And, and do you find it easy to thread up, Jane, as well? Brilliant. Right, let me move over to the side of the table and take a last look at that. <laughs> Hannah, Hannah. Oh, Sandy, chocolate chip cookies watching. 
I'll be back in a minute. There we go. Right. The next thing I'm going to show you, Hannah's got this weird fascination for them, right? She says she's practicing for when she has babies and she can make um, bibs and everything with them. Right, so what you've got here, I'll use, I'll use the two open ones. I'll use two, they're separate, they're separate, separate. Right, so which one do you want to do first? Right, the pliers first, right? These are the pliers that you use. Come on, jump. These are the pliers you use. Oh, I've, pfft, I was a bit over forceful then. These are the pliers you use. <laughs> there we go. These are the pliers you use to put your snap fasteners in, look. So, this is how yours will arrive, all beautifully wrapped up here. Um, right, so they're pre-installed with plastic die and metal shank, perfect for size 20 plastic snaps. These are, you only use these on plastic snaps. You do not use these for anything else. You don't use these to punch holes or anything like that. These are literally for plastic snaps only. Test first on a scrap of fabric to ensure snap size suits fabric weight. Handle with care and keep away from children. Then it's got the full instructions of how you put them on. You put the cap, the stud or the socket on. Mm. And the reason they're called the snaps because they hear you hear a snap when they're when they're in the right place. So these are, excuse me, these are the pliers to put them on. Twelve pounds ninety nine. And then this is the bit that Hannah likes, the snappy bits. She likes all the colours. She's like a little magpie. I'll just put that in that way around. Right, here we go. The, this is the open packet. Yours also arrived all, all sealed and everything like that. So there you go. You've got all your different colours through from the clear, the white, the cream, the orange, the pink, the lilac, the mint, the bright yellow, the apple, the sky, navy, purple, black, grey and khaki. Beautiful. Right, what's this message here? Uh, oh, it's my birthday next week, says Teresa. Maybe I can convince the hubby. I need an overlocker. You'll love it, Teresa. Um, oh, I missed a message from Trudy and, and um, Trudy and Bex earlier. And then, uh, hello, John. Please can you show a close-up of the fabric pop? I've ordered the Ditsy print one. One that has been demoed before on air. Yes, Katie. The, I'll, I'll get the date for you in a minute. Hannah can find me the date. Uh, the 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 pots. She's ordered the pots and she doesn't know what date it was um, demoed on. Anyway, £8.99. pence. quarter of the stock of the snaps have gone. Obviously, the snaps sell faster than the pliers because once you've got the pliers, you never, ever, ever, well, you will eventually, but you never really need to replace them. Whereas these, as you use them. Now, how many have I got in here? It's hundreds, isn't it? 15 sets of 12. What does that make, Hannah? 15 sets of 12. Beautiful. Eight ninety-nine. Gorgeous colours. How many? Hundred and eighty. Is that right? Fifteen times twelve, you say? Yeah, that's about right. Eight ninety-nine. Eight pounds ninety-nine. We'll just check that pot for you. It's a bit difficult once we've gone into the next hour, that's all. What would we like to see next, do we think? Okay, I'd like to do some of these corduroy fabrics because I think they're gorgeous. 13th of July, is it what, last, 22? 13th of July, 2022. Go and look on YouTube for the pots. They're very easy. They're very, very easy. Right. Oh, I love this. This is like jump. Oh, oh. 10th of September last year. There's two dates we've done them. So I think Fiona did them one. Oh, and I think Fiona might have done them twice. But anyway. Uh, here we go then. Look at this beautiful jumbo cord. Oh, we're not meant to have this. We're not meant to have this apparently. Do it quickly then before anyone management notice. They'll all be at home making their lunch now, won't they, anyway? 
by the half meter oh okay then all right then so here you go so let's do camel first of all or tan 71 ym 71 right so 4.5 where what does that mean john it means that you get four and a half of these ridges per inch that's what it means so the lower the number the bigger the jumbo cord Hun oh 100 cotton oh that's fantastic this is really lovely quality cord joy here 6.99 for half a meter that is brilliant oh yeah 100 cotton is fantastic really 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 good quality 142 centimeters wide oh look and sandy says she's got the l in the 664 and it's great beautiful oh i love that yeah no that cherry sofa i don't know if it's in this now but cherry had a sofa made and the, but slightly bigger than that and it was just so delicious right now i've got the navy blue which uh, looks very dark on the BXLJ80. Right, it's not, I'll show you here because that's the black one. That's the black one there. This is the navy one. But the picture on the web looks navy. Hmm? Oh, on the web it looks the same as the black one. 100% cotton, same width, beautiful quality. Make a lovely skirt. Or a bag if you're making a bag out of it definitely 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 use some iron-on interfacing on the inside because for, even though it looks it, it, it it's beautiful and soft look it's lovely and squeegee do you know what I mean so that's why I'd say it'd be brilliant for skirts but yeah use it make, making a bag but I would do what Baffer always does and I'd always iron interfacing onto the bus yes a lot of bag makers do that anyway but this this because uh, you kind of think oh a jumbo cord like that four and a half whale will be stiff this is this you could pleat this up or gather this up in a skirt and it's going to look beautiful because what i love about i love about um uh cord like this cord like this is it's a bit like velvet you get different depths when the where the shadow is and where the light is and things like that you get really really beautiful different depth oh that looks so rich on the telly doesn't it that one gorgeous then i'm going i'll go to the black one next black one's already selling on pre-order oh oh it's rich it's it looks like moleskin it looks like a beautiful rich moleskin this one stunning i think because it, it's so um not lightweight but it's a it's a beautiful way uh, you could uh, a lot of uh, Jules's dresses you could use this for as well 6.99 what's the matter oh, I'll move it there oh I say oh yes yeah. so if I do that it just looks like I've got a black screen sorry about that I'll move it so you can see this I'll do this we're still alive we're still alive I'll move it on now because I'm going on to the soft powder blue now anyway This is lovely. Mm. The only thing I would say is if you're going to make dressmaking, make sure you cut all your patterns out. It doesn't matter which way you go, but make sure you're cutting them all out in the same direction. It's definitely got a nap on it. So you can either brush it down or brush it up like you do with velvet. So, but make sure all your pattern pieces are going the same way. Otherwise what will happen is if you do two backs out of the same thing, this side of your back, will look one colour, because the way I was just saying about the way the light catches it, that side goes one colour and that would look another colour, that's all. Beautiful. Am I correct in thinking there's a special tool to use when pressing cord joy? As, if you press it from the back, who was that? Sue, you'll be fine. But yes, there's um, what we call, it's like a velvet board, right? And it looks like, you know, the, uh, the old fashioned, um, the man that used to lie on the bed of nails. Are you old enough to remember that? There was a circus that used to be on the circus in the bit where you went into the novelty section and a man would have like a doty on and he'd just lie on a bed of, and if you touch your finger on it the nails were really, really sharp but he'd lie on them it's like that so what you do is you put the fabric with the corduroy going into the nails and you iron on the top like that and that way you don't lose the nap or you don't lose the fluffiness of it i haven't seen one for years i had a sleeve board with it on once but 
Uh, it's not imperative, but it's, it will save your fabric. It will really, really look after your fabric. And also if you accidentally put too hot an iron on it, obviously you iron from the wrong side because the, 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 the pins are all on this side of the fabric here. Hi John, is it possible to disable the blade on the 664 overlock please? Norma, yes it is. Yes, it is, Norma, uh, because Jane messaged in earlier saying you can move, you can move the blade if you don't want to cut the fabric. No. No. Here it is. You are getting a free pair of scissors with it today. And you can thank Hannah because it's got five-way split pay. Five-way split pay. Now, the reason I went... No, like that. No, we had loads in stock. We had loads and loads and loads of these in stock. How many have I got left? Yeah, limited. Limited stock now. And you get free scissors. Yeah, Haley was desperate. To, ha Hannah, all Hannah wanted was the five-way split pay. And Haley was like, put the scissors in, put the scissors in. And Hannah was like, no, no, I think the split pay's, you know, nice enough. No, put the scissors in. I'll go upstairs. I'll do it right now. I'll do it. And she went upstairs and did it there and then. Cool, fine. Yeah, beautiful. Limited now, limited, limited, limit on the overlocker, remember? I mean, right, let me just say, we're not, we, will, we can get more of the overlocker. It's not like you're never going to see it again. It's not like limited, oh, it's sold out, you'll never see it again. We could just ring, well, I say that. So yesterday, when she said that the air threader was limited, I said, can't we just ring um, Elner and get some more? She went, well, they can't get it because they can't get the parts yet. So, so it, but we'll always be able to get them all. That, what I'm saying is, I don't want you to think, well, John said they'll never have them again. We'll always have them. We'll always have them, right? But the, of our stock that we've got, the air thread are sold out and we can't get any more just yet. And the um, 664 is limited now. <sighs> you can indeed. It is very limited with scissors, yeah. Very limited with scissors. Right. Which one do you want? The unisex top? There you go. Now, we did this recently. Uh, Hannah has an issue with this because she, don't you remember, on the day you said you'd have put patch pockets on the ladies and a kangaroo pouch on the man's. Oh, who was it then? Who was I with? No, it wasn't Ben. Ben's not a girl. 21st of... 24th of November. How weird. I, now, if anybody asked me now, I'd be like, oh, she was quite adamant about it. Maybe, we, well, not at the launch, because Ben did the launch. Maybe it was when we did, because look, she said that one to Hannah. This is Hannah's view only. That would be boys. That would be girls. You can't remember what we said yesterday afternoon, Hannah. You can't remember what we said in prep this morning. So you're not going to remember what pockets you did. What? Oh, she's, she's cut me short now. 24th 11th, John. 24th 11th. There's the back of the packet. There you go. Uh, Sue, I can't, Sue's looked up the um, velvet boards. I can't tell you if it works well because I don't know which one you're looking at, Sue, my love. The one I used to have was ancient and it was brilliant, but I'm afraid I can't say if yours is going to, do you know if they work or not? I, do, I, I can't tell you without knowing, that, knowing which ones they are. 17 .99. Beautiful. Now it comes in look, sizes small to 2XL. So the 2XL is a, because um, now it says bust, but they're, but they're uh, gender friendly, gender friendly. Uh, let's see. Bust in inches, 48 to 50 is the biggest size. And then the finish is 59 inches. Beautiful.
trapeze artist. All of the trapeze artist. Hola. Isn't Ola, wasn't she one of the dancing? Um, she wasn't ice dancing, she was one of the um, strictly come dancing. But Ola Keeley, she's Irish, isn't she? Anyway, Ola trapeze dress, sizes 8 to 22. I love that. And it's so simple and elegant. So you can do it just very plain like that. Or you can do it with a little jabo front. You can do it with short sleeves or you can do it with long sleeves. And what's brilliant about Fiona Hesford patterns is that she's got a blog, right? So go blog. And every pattern that she's made, you can go on there, she does hacks, she takes you through how it's, hello, I'm over here. She takes it through, takes you through every single hack, how to make everything, how to do the pocket. And that's all for free. That's all for free. It's fantastic. 17.99, sizes 8 to 22. Where's the sizes? Uh, size 8, 32 bust, size 22, 46 bust. Beautiful. No. Has that camera got a life of its own? Look, 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 see, see, it just moved again. 1799. Message on the bottom. You thinking of Ola Jordan on Strictly? Michelle, that's exactly what I was thinking of. She's married to the board the, the James Jordan, isn't she? And they've got the baby. Oh, it's not a baby anymore. And you can put the baby down on a... We've got this thing, right? So years ago, when we first started to quarter, and we did baby quilts, and I was like, what do you use for? I said, you put the baby down on it. She went, you don't put a baby down, or don't put a... And we've got this thing about, and I get, put the baby down on a quilt, that's what it's for. I don't know where she's gonna put hers when she gets them. She, she never puts it down. So what, Lottie? Seventeen nine thanks. She'll put it in the bottom drawer of the chest of drawers. Not with the drawer shut. She put. There you go. So this goes from a small to an extra large, suitable for beginners. Beautiful. Seventeen ninety nine. Gorgeous. There's the back. Oh. Look, this is what I love about Fiona's patterns, right? 1799, coat, jacket, jacket, coat, all in the same pattern. That's good, isn't it? A pattern to make a loose fitting jacket or coat with raglan sleeves, lotty coat, has a revere style collar, buttons, two flat pockets, and an optional tie belt. Linen, linen mixings, or viscose fabric. Look lovely in linen, wouldn't like a dust coat, like an Edwardian dust coat, that'd be nice. Gorgeous. I've got two. Ursula, coat again. Available in two lengths again, short jacket or long coat. Oh, Derek. Derek, well, you're not listening. It was a hundred and... hundred and forty-two... You expect me to remember, it was 10 minutes ago, Derek. I think it was 142 cent... Oh, I don't know why I'm going to get the tape measure. The core joint, was it 142 centimetres wide? 142, don't wake up, 142 centimetres wide was. That's what our description says. What are you going to make, Derek? It's a bit thick, it's a bit wide, I'd say, for a shirt. You're going to make a waistcoat out of it. Or if he's asking for the width, you must be making something big out of it, must not he? Cat's tightening away the same. You're in a rush to get away after the show, Cat. She's taking the plants down. She's packing the plants away. Are you off on holiday? Oh, she's not. Oh, that explains it. I thought she, because earlier she's been getting them. Did you, all the noise earlier? Did you see the mannequins all coming in and then the boxes coming in and the trolleys coming in? I was like, she's eager today. She's going straight on holiday to Wales after the show today. So, so she wants to. Yeah, come on, come on, finish the show. We're ready now. Let's go. Let's go. And how long are you away for? Till Saturday. I'd like to go away for a few days. Anyway, 1799, beautiful. No, Hannah, we're not, you can't, you don't invite me into your house. We can't go on holiday together. Oh, I've got two more. No, I haven't, one more, one more. Le Chic Beret. 
£10.49, that's a strange price, isn't it? £10.49, suitable for hat lovers with some previous sewing experience. Oh, there, there, hat lover. Now look, small, medium, large. How much fabric you need? Gorgeous at £10.49. Fabulous. That'd be nice in corduroy, wouldn't it? Oh, okay, okay. I want to. You, but I, I thought it said. She said, "I've got this machine. You can move it." Oh, okay, right, okay, Jane, and everyone who's asked, because I've I've been out. Uh, oh, I'll ask Cat to get the brochure out in a minute. And we'll, yeah, can you get the six six four? Yes, yes, okay. We'll get we'll get the brochure out, and we'll look for for sure. We'll look for get a definitive answer for everybody. Yeah. Cotton canvases here. There you go. Cat's looking it up for you now. Right. Which sorry, right, she's doing the Welsh. She's looked up she's looking at the Welsh one. <laughs> this is nice. Look at the background of this. It's very swirly. Six ninety nine half meter. This is quite right. Beautiful six ninety nine. This is, oh, they have called it grey. You see, I wouldn't call this grey. Would you? Would you? It's got grey in it, but there's beige, there's cream, there's biscuit, there's oatmeal. I'd call it neutrals. This one myself. Right, hang on. I've got the brochure here. to deactivate the upper knife, right? Turn off the power and unplug the machine. Open the looper cover and side cover. Turn the upper knife release knob towards you whilst pushing it to the right. Then guide the hole on the upper knife to the pin to lock the upper knife in the down position. Turn the hand wheel to check if the upper knife is deactivated. Close the looper cover and side cover. So there you go, that's it there. That's page 30. It's on page 30 of the, of the manual. Thank you, Kat. You can, you can also, while we're here, you can also adjust the cutting width. If you do want to adjust the cutting width, you can adjust the cutting width. And we're on to threading the machine. So there you go. That's it. Thank you, Kat. That's an answer to your question. Right, we're talking about the, the, the overlocker. Oh, I, I'll do it by picture because this table's a bit of a mess. So, uh, special deal today, £309. It's our most affordable overlocker. We are throwing in a pair of Janome scissors, but uh, Hannah also got you five-way split pay. So you pay £61.80 today, and then four months after that, you pay £61.80 again, and then it's yours. But it arrives, it, it comes to you, to, like they'll set the wheels in motion tomorrow of it being delivered to you. It does come directly from Elna, and it does have a two-year warranty from Elna on it. Yeah, the overlocker threads are not on split pay, I'm afraid, whoever wanted to know that. They're, in theory, nothing should be on split pay under £99. Now, I know sometimes they slip through, but they're not, they're not on split pay, I'm afraid. Okay, moving on. I was going to say it's navy, it's not black, yeah. It's very dark. I, no, I'd call it midnight. You're quite right to think it's black. I'd call it midnight, not a sound from the pavement. You've been watching The Masked Singer. How can they think that knitting is Elaine Page? It doesn't sound anything like Elaine Page. It's Claire from Steps, I think. Do I know what? It's so bizarre. When I first heard they were doing this series, I was like, oh, that's rubbish. I'm not watching that. That's... And, I was... and then they did Masked Dancer. The next ones were Masked Dancer after that. How funny. It's funny. It's, 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 it's addictive. It's addictive. Anyway, this is pretty. Moving on. 
we could do a variation we could do the masked presenter and all four of us wear different masks you have to guess who we <laughs> yeah that might be a bit strange because we'd all have to be well Vix would have to be padded up to be the same size as Stuart wouldn't it she yeah Oh, it's that one. We couldn't decide if that was for this hour or the last hour. Oh, it's cut to order this, so you don't get a little piece like this. It's the fattest piping cord I've ever seen. I don't know what it's for. I don't know why you'd use that fat piping cord. Oh, you're using it as a... Oh, OK, you're using it as, a, as a, an actual cord to go through, like a nautical bag or something like that. Oh, yes, yes, nautical bag, nice, you could do. Uh, or it could be for very, very fat piping on a sofa, an old-fashioned sofa or something. Or a big floor cushion. Oh, now you're saying that, we've got loads... <laughs> loads and loads of different um, suggestions now. Ninety nine p for half. Of, it's ninety nine p for half a meter, isn't it? Yeah, but you, it's cut to order. So if you want a three meter piece, you can have a three meter piece. Beautiful. Next. So did we find a bobbly jumper? Here we go then. Are oh, you doing it from up there? Seventeen ninety nine. No, don't do stay where you are. No. Actually, is the cordroy packed away? Yeah. Oh, it is. No way. Seventeen ninety nine. This is gorgeous. This is. We sold so many of these before Christmas. It's a debob. You charge it up here. Do not try and use it while you're charging up because it won't work. Right. This is your little uh, safety bottom. Right. Oh, if you bought this last year, that was black. I don't know why it's suddenly gone to be a white one. And then in here, oh, in here, that's where the magic happens. And then this here is where all the fluff congregates. And you get, and then you get the little brush like that to brush it out. And then that's your charger. It's a USB charger to charge it up with. It's what? Right, so we had two of these here open, right? Oh, we haven't talked, that's what we need to talk to Chloe about. Chloe, uh, you know Chloe, head of whatever she's head of, right? She's head of Paul Demiers. Um, she's, we couldn't find it the day, it was on her desk apparently. One was on, yeah, but the other one, we blamed you for having the other one at your house. No. Oh yeah, that, whose is that? Oh my word, we picked up a jumper from the green room. <laughs> no, it's not a name tag. I don't know who's it is. Oh, I see. So Anna took the. Can you hear it? It's very satisfying. Now you must always do it on the flat. Don't try and do it while you're wearing it. Oh, that one's got. Ooh. I won't do that sleeve. I think they own horses, maybe, these people. <laughs> this is going to be really embarrassing if they walk past the wall like, I don't see my sweatshirt. Right. Look. Oh, it's not that much fluff on that one after all that. But look, defluffing. Your jumper's nice and safe. I'll just get rid of that. Go and put it back where you found it, Kat. <sighs> It'll say, it must be, who's, it's not somebody who's guesting on, who's guesting there today? No, it's the one oh, oh, she hasn't nicked it from the green room. She's nicked it from the hooks. <coughs> the hooks, they've been there since we moved in, haven't they? Oh my word, what is it with Derek today? How wide's the cord, Joy? How much is this? How much is that? Are the Gutemann metallic threads strong enough for sewing on buttons? Oh, that's a good question. I'd say, oh, excuse me, I'd say so. Let's do them. Why isn't Derek at school? 
And Derek's a school teacher, by the way, if you don't know. You see, I'd buy this and then couldn't, I'd get home. Oh, there they go. You see, they're 70% polyamide, 30% polyester. I'm trying to find the end now. Try and find the end on that one for me, Kat, while I do this one. Oh, sorry. Normally twists. Oh, there it is, there it is. Oh, uh, Derek, no. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. They're more decorative. They're very... F oh, hang on, hang on. Let's, let's just show this. No, I'd say no. Decorative, not functional. Sorry, I've now opened that packet, haven't I? There's loads of people I don't know. That, that intruder alarm this morning must have been going crazy because there's loads of people in that don't know. Anyway, so no, I wouldn't sew buttons on with them. But they're gorgeous. The colours, gold, silver, bronze, shimoy rubellite, soft pink, emerald, and amethyst. Uruguayan amethyst. Oh, Derek, I didn't realise. He's been off ill all month. Back tomorrow. He's going back tomorrow. I'm making the most of it today, aren't you? Oh, I hope you're all right, Derek. Hope you haven't had a fall, Derek. Get a fall. I had a fall over there. Didn't, I was tripped. Yes, maliciously tripped. Can do that, can do that. Can lift my left leg up, lift my right leg up. I knew all the exercises because I watched 24 hours in any. &E. I knew exactly what the doctor was going to ask me next. But I've told you, you know, I went, oh, I know this one. And I went like that. And instead of going to his finger, I went to his nose. Look, it's fine. I can do this. He's like, no, you're supposed to be following my finger around the room. Yes. He's like, I'll, let you, I'll, I'll sign you off, but I don't think you're quite right. That's what he said. Black and white, good to me. You can sew buttons on with these. Black and white, good to me. She's here. Twelve ninety nine. She's waving at you, Hannah. So you're leaving for for France, not France, Wales, straight away. You get to Wales a lot, don't you? You've got family there. No. No. Calming. Just calming. <laughs> calming. You don't need calming. Twelve ninety nine. Oh, it's funny in here today, isn't it? Bruce, where are you going after the show today? Oh, he's just going home. You're not going for a day out in Stratford. No, nothing to like that today. 12.99. <laughs> anyway, here we go, 12.99. Oh yeah, thread pack. I'll do it this way up here. This is good. So in this, you get a quick unpick with a bumbly bee bottom. You got a little uh, 22.99, this. Uh, well, hang on, how many threads did you get? Oh, 11 threads. That's a funny number to put in, isn't it? 11 threads. So you get 11 threads, you get a quick and pick with a bumblebee bottom, and you get a stitch uh, counter, centimetre stitch counter for 17 99 It was already a value pack. £1.63 a spool, and that does include the quick and pick and the st stitch counter. What colours have we got? I shall tell you. Silver, charcoal, khaki, chocolate, red, purple, navy, beige, cream, white, black. All the ones, all your utility ones really, those, aren't they? Seventeen It's a good little present there as well. You're not sharing? Okay, she's, having, she's buying them for herself, so Anna. Since, she, since she's um, got herself a boyfriend, she doesn't do sewing. I haven't heard her do any sewing since she met Steph. No sewing. Oh no, oh no, I'll take that back, right? Because it's not Steph, because it's because she was doing an MA. That's why she hasn't had time. She hasn't had time, <laughs> she hasn't had time yet to do some sewing because she's busy doing an MA. I hadn't even thought about that. Seventeen ninety nine. 
What I love, what I love, I'm hoping Hannah doesn't mind me telling this, when they go do their weekly shop, right? They have two trolleys, right? Hannah has the trolley to buy all that, you know, the chicken breasts and all the things, the nice healthy foods. Steph's has got like cans of fizzy drink and chocolate biscuits and all the kind of, oh, oh, look, oh, 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 look, look, oh, like that, like, yeah. Do do a diff shop. And then when there's no tea, when he's only got chocolate biscuits for his tea, then he'll get a bit upset. Anyway, moving on. Oh, I, I don't, I, if I ate meat, I think a ham roll sounds very nice. Now, I wouldn't eat these ones, but I'm thinking a crusty, a crusty roll with, with nice butter and a slice of ham in would be quite nice. What would you have with ham? Mustard. Do you put mustard with ham? Great. Oh, cheese and ham. Yeah, cheese and ham. Do you, do you not need moisture? Do you not see some moisture in there? Oh, right. <laughs> the moisture comes from the butter. Right, which one do you want to do first? Ham? Well, no, no, because this, this must have come back in stock. We didn't have this the other day when Sandy's chocolate chip cookie was on, did we? 11 19. Or was it the other way around? We had that one and didn't have this one. Anyway, it doesn't matter. They're both here now. 11 99 for your pressing ham. Full of sawdust. Steam away on it to your heart's content. Let it dry naturally. And then we've also got the sausage roll. It's not called a sausage roll, though. It's just called the roll, I think. It's Eight ninety nine. So easy, Taylor sleeve roll. Eight pound ninety nine. I need to remind you about the overlockers. Lots, you got the overlocker in your basket. It's on special deal today. I'm going to show you still. I'm not going to show you the real thing. Uh, you get a pair of scissors, uh, completely for free. Uh, but we've put it on uh, five way split pay. So it's our most affordable overlocker that we do do do. And it will come directly from Elna. The scissors will come from us, they'll come from Elna. Five-way split pay, you will get it the minute, you, not the minute, you don't get it the same minute that you pay. But if you pay today, that will go through the process. Then tomorrow, Elna will set the wheels in motion sending it to you. It could be with you by the weekend. There it is. Same uh, overlocker and free pair of scissors. Right, let's do the menu because I've got a movie menu and I haven't checked it. So goodness knows what this could be like. Let's have a look. Now I've got to talk over it because there's no still menu after it. Right, go. Go. Oh, I need to, uh, Wednesday, the 1st of February, 8 a.m., Fabulous Fabrics. 9 a.m., Rebecca Harrison. Oh, it's very basic, isn't it? Rebecca Harrison, Ripple Dress, no name of the designer. 10 p.m., they've done it wrong again. Essential quilting tools at 10 p.m. tomorrow night. Has anyone told Stuart he's doing a long day? 11 p.m., Rebecca Harrison, Lichen, Duster Coat and Dress Pattern. And then at 12 o'clock, oh, not only mannequins, discounted. Is Hannah, are you on tomorrow? That's Hannah's done that for you. It'll be 10% off all mannequins tomorrow. So there you go, that's tomorrow. I'll go and talk to Alan now about the mistakes he's made. Um, right, I'm not in tomorrow. I'm not in tomorrow, but I am in on th 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 what day? Thursday, because Stuart's birthday shows are Thursday and Friday, aren't they? And for some reason, I'm presenting his first birthday show, he's guesting, and then the second one, he's presenting his own birthday show on Friday. So we're going out for a curry on Thursday night, all of us, apart from producer Cat. Oh, you won't be there, because you're away. This cat won't be there, because she's away. Bruce will be there. Uh, we're all going for a curry in Redditch, so we'll see you in Redditch on Wednesday night. No. It's, it's tomorrow night. It's, oh no, I don't know what day it is now. I'll have to, I'll, well, it's, I'm definitely not in the next day, but I'm in on, yes, yeah, 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 so it's Thursday night, it's Thursday night. No, it isn't. It's the 2nd of February. What day is the 2nd? Anyway, we've got to go because they're, they're waiting to come on in Hobby Maker. I haven't got a Hobby Maker um, menu then, I take it. No, all right. Take care, I'll see you. So it's Tuesday today. I'll see you on Thursday morning. We're going for curry Thursday night. <laughs>